Chapter 3441 Changes, Long Chen Yu's The Movement Art He Had Learned from the Lightning Falcon Race. Lightning then wrapped around his body, and he transformed into a lightning falcon that sped through the air. Seeing space constantly twisting while experiencing this carefree speed, Long Chen was moved. It was like he had returned to his childhood, and Long Tianxiao was helping him ride a horse through the plains. Long Chen raised his head and roared. As a result, thunder rumbled, and he accelerated to the point that even the world around him grew blurry from how fast he was going. This feeling of speed made him feel like all his vexations were being thrown far into the distance, as if all his worries were no longer a concern. After leaving the integral heaven's star field, he was no longer worried about revealing that he knew the secret arts of the lightning falcon race. So, he flew at top speed. In just over two hours, it was no longer a barren wilderness around him. He gradually saw some greenery, and the sparse spiritual kai in the air also increased in density. At this point, he slowed down a bit. It was no longer a flat land. If he accidentally crashed into a mountain at this speed, he might end up injuring himself. He quickly saw signs of civilization. This place was still mostly wilderness at this point. The spiritual kai was thin, and there weren't many people around. When he swept out his divine sense, he found that the people here seemed to be hunters. Due to the sparse spiritual kai here, there weren't any ferocious beasts around. There were simply some wild beasts that they could hunt to live off of. Perhaps this sparse spiritual kai was precisely what allowed them to survive here. Long Chen then paused and saw a small village not too far from him. A few dozen children were running around there, brandishing some sticks and shouting. A man in a crude beast hide was also holding a small club and sternly rebuking anyone whose movements were incorrect. The children all looked to be around six or seven years old. When the man struck them with his club, they clenched their teeth and cried, but they didn't make a sound. There was also a group of women cleaning up some prey and some strong people tidying up weapons. Those were just normal metal weapons, but they were very careful with them. Those weapons were clearly as important as their lives. Upon seeing this village, a slight ripple appeared in Long Chen's heart. He thought of a pure and innocent maiden with a slightly dark complexion and large eyes, a maiden that always had a smile on her face. A necklace of different colored stones then appeared in his hand. It was a very crude and simple necklace that was held together with hemp strings. The stones were also not perfectly circular. It wasn't all that good to look at. However, Long Chen had always been looking after it properly. This was something from Zio Hua an incomparably pure girl from a small village in the Phoenix Cry Empire's wilderness, who thought of him as a gift from the heavens. Long Chen thought of the martial heaven continent and his old friends. He didn't know how they were. Were those that had ascended doing well? Were those that hadn't ascended accustomed to their new world? Long Chen sighed. He put away the necklace and continued on his way. The spiritual kai in the air grew denser as he flew. He gradually started to see tracks from powerful beasts and some cultivators. Long Chen then saw some small squads fighting a huge bear. That was probably their prey, but it seemed that they had provoked something that they shouldn't provoke. Just as the seven of them were about to be killed, Long Chen slapped that bear to death. Having escaped death, those people were all grateful to Long Chen. He asked them some questions and learned that they came from a small town. As for what prefecture they were in, they really didn't know. It seemed that this place was truly remote. Long Chen asked them where their town was, and it really was small. The strongest person in this city was only at the Divine Flame Realm. This was most likely the result of the sparse spiritual kind limiting their room for growth. Long Chen asked that expert and learned that this place belonged to the Qingyan Prefecture. 
the Qingyang prefecture wasn't even able to enter the ranks of the hundred domains and thousand prefectures, because this prefecture had been in ruins ever since an ancient battle. It was only in the last few million years that it once more became suitable for cultivation. This place could not be compared to those other prefectures inside the heavenly swell domain. The so-called hundred domains and thousand prefectures referred to the intact domains and prefecture cities that survived that ancient battle. In the immortal world, prefectures made up domains, domains made up star fields, and star fields made up heavens. It was said that the entire immortal world had nine heavens but ten lands. That saying was a bit contradictory, but people kept repeating it. After learning this, Long Chen gave that expert a longevity-extending pill, one that could give him an extra thousand years of life. That expert was overjoyed and repeatedly thanked him. This town was too poor to even construct a transportation formation, so Long Chen could only set off on his own. When he reached the prefecture city, it finally appeared a bit more like the cultivation world. He asked for their best transportation formation. This place wasn't the heavenly swell domain. From here, he was transported to another prefecture city. He then went through seven prefecture cities before reaching the core prefecture city of this domain. When he came to their greatest transportation formation, he found that there was no one overseeing it. He was standing in front of the transportation formation and about to ask for someone's help when someone spotted Long Chen and jumped in shock. Aren't you Long Chen? The dual champion of the Heavenly Swell Domain's Nine Prefecture Convention. Long Chen hadn't expected someone to recognize him. He said, yes, that's me. Brother, do you know if this transportation formation can be used? This person was in the Four Peak Realm. However, his spiritual fluctuations were already growing sluggish. He looked to be in his thirties, but his actual age was definitely not young. But in the immortal world, it was a person's realm and power that was respected. Sometimes calling someone brother was raising them up, acting like you didn't know their age or power. Of course, you can use it. However, this transportation formation is rarely used. In order to save resources, it isn't activated at all times. If you wait just a bit, I will inform the city lord to activate the transportation formation. He needs to personally come to unlock it. That person was overwhelmed with favor at being called brother by Long Chen. He immediately ran off to alert the city lord. As a result, he didn't just bring back the city lord, Countless experts also came to take a look. The news of the arrival of the dual champion of the Nine Prefecture Convention was quite big here. The city lord was an earth-tier immortal king, and he was most likely the apex expert of this region. In the end, shallow waters couldn't produce big fish. There was no way that this place could compare to the heavenly swell domain. D. Long Chen, your reputation precedes you. I won't say any superfluous words. Do you wish to return to the heavenly swell domain? Asked the city lord. Yes, I'll trouble you to help me out. Long Chen cupped his fists. Dare I ask what the current situation is like there? What situation? Asked Long Chen. Do you not know? The heavenly swell domain, the vile dragon domain, and other domains are being attacked. Devils have invaded from another world, and the Devil Sea has also erupted. Those fiend devils are climbing onto the land in multiple domains. Is our information wrong? asked the city lord, feeling baffled. Upon hearing this, Long Chen's expression instantly changed. Chapter 3442 Devils Invade the Devil Sea erupted at the same time as the devil race invaded the immortal world. It couldn't be a coincidence. If it wasn't a coincidence, someone must be controlling things behind the scenes. Long Chen instantly thought of how the integral heaven Starfield had originally belonged to the human race, but was then invaded by devils, 
only for them to retreat for no reason after taking over, resulting in the entire starfield falling into the hands of the sacred pill hall. If his guess was correct, Lord Brahma definitely had a way to control those devils. He was the source of this calamity, and he was the one using the devils against the High Firmament Academy. When did you receive this information? asked Long Chen. Three days ago, answered the city lord. Three days? That was a too long. Long Chen said, City Lord, please help me activate the transportation formation. I must go right now. The city lord awkwardly said, This transportation formation isn't kept active at all times. In order to reactivate it, we need close to a hundred immortal king crystals. Right now I only have. Long Chen instantly understood. If the transportation formation was kept active at all times, then sending a single divine lord across domains would only cost around ten immortal king crystals. However, actually turning on the formation so that it could be used required close to a hundred immortal king crystals. That kind of wealth was no small sum to this city lord, and he hadn't reached such a level of generosity that he could give Long Chen that much. That's fine. Is this enough? Long Chen directly gave the city lord 120 immortal king crystals. It's enough. There are also leftovers. The city lord relaxed when he saw Long Chen take out the money. He had no intention of taking advantage of Long Chen, but he really was unable to lose that much money. The leftover change is the fee for using your transportation formations. Rules are rules. My High Firmament Academy can't let you work for nothing. Please hurry, said Long Chen. He didn't even care about this small sum. He only wanted to get back as fast as possible. As expected, money was the solution to all problems. The Immortal King Crystals were then embedded into notches in the formation, and it was fully activated in just an instant's sticks worth of time. After that, Long Chen stepped in and space twisted around him. After some time, his body felt heavy, and his foot landed on solid ground. There was a familiar scent in the air, yet also foreign. That foreign scent was full of brutality and slaughter. This was definitely the heavenly swell domain. Now Long Chen took out a map and checked where he was. Orienting himself, he rushed toward the closest prefecture city. When he arrived, he found that they were on a strict lockdown. The Grand Formation had been activated, and countless armored experts were on guard, waiting for enemies to attack. Dean Long Chen! When Long Chen arrived, those experts cried out in shock. They hastily let him in. Many thanks. I wish to borrow your transportation formation to get back to the High Firmament Academy, said Long Chen to their leader. Dean Long Chen, didn't you run? Why are you going back? asked the leader. I ran. Long Chen's heart shook. It seemed that the problem was worse than he had expected. After asking some questions, he learned that the spatial channel that the devils had opened was near the High Firmament Academy. Hence, the Academy was completely isolated and besieged by countless devils. The surrounding laws were also shattered, leaving their transportation formations ineffective. As for the prefecture cities around the High Firmament Academy, they were on a tight lockdown. Fortunately, up until now, those devils seemed to only have their sights on the High Firmament Academy. Only a small portion spread throughout the surroundings. This prefecture city was very far from the Martial Heaven Prefecture. Thus, right now, they were under no pressure. Their experts had even gone to support other prefecture cities. However, the Martial Heaven Prefecture's space was in chaos, so they were unable to go there directly. They had no idea what was going on there. In this situation, countless rumors were running wild. They all said that the High Firmament Academy was about to fall. Seeing Long Chen appear here, they thought that he had run. Remember, the High Firmament Academy has not toppled in trillions of years. This kind of tiny wave is nothing. 
Second, although the disciples of the High Firmament Academy might not get along normally, when crisis descends, all their hearts are united. No one will retreat or abandon the others to flee. Third, the people spreading rumors and trying to bring everyone down are trash. Stay away from them. After saying that, Long Chen stepped into the transportation formation. He rushed toward the Yeohua Prefecture, which was closest to the Marshall Heaven Prefecture. Once he was here, he heard the sound of battle. Even his appearance didn't draw anyone's notice. He then hastily rushed to the city gates. A huge swarm of devils was attacking the city's formation. Those devils were several meters tall, with long hands and feet, looking a bit like hairless apes. Their heads were larger, though, and they had fangs that were like saw teeth. Moreover, bone-like claws grew out of their hands and feet, and they were covered in scales. In addition to their sinister appearances, their auras were full of brutality and bloodthirstiness. Long Chen saw millions of experts fighting those devils, blocking them from getting close to the prefecture city. This grand formation was the final lifeline of the prefecture city, a last resort that couldn't be used until all else failed. If the formation was broken as well, then the millions and millions of commoners inside the city would be killed. Countless women and children were quivering inside their rooms. The roars of the devils could be heard through the formation. To them, it felt as if the very heavens were collapsing. Hence, the millions of experts outside the city were fighting with all their power. Even cultivators only in the divine flame realm were participating. The battlefield spread as far as the eye could see. The ground was littered with corpses, and black blood infected the land. It was unknown how many corpses of the human race were buried under the carcasses of the devils. The furthest group was composed of over ten immortal kings fighting a single terrifying devil. The other devils had black scales, but this devil's scales were fiery red. Its blood kai was truly like a sea, and its devil kai overflowed. With every strike of its claws, the void was torn apart. A single heaven tier, a mortal king going all out to receive this attack, was still left coughing up blood. That devil had reached the half-step world king level, so only that heaven tier, a mortal king, was barely able to receive its attacks. The others could only work with him to buy him some time between attacks. However, that half-step world king devil was too terrifying. The elder received three blows before being wounded, which caused everyone to despair. Other than this one elder, no one else was capable of stopping this devil. But this elder was so old that he was already past his prime. There was no way he could beat the devil. Boom. The other immortal kings, including two earth-tier immortal kings, joined forces to stop the devil's next attack. As a result, all of them were like blades of grass in the wind, blown far into the distance and coughing up blood. Their oars fell. You damn devil! That heaven-tier immortal king saw that there was no beating this devil. With a furious roar, he summoned all his power, condensing it into one final attack. He knew that this blow was useless, but he would rather die trying than retreat. The elder's sword fell. Following that, a shocking scene occurred. A ray of divine light fell, and that unstoppable fiend suddenly quivered. After that, a crack spread from the top of its head all the way to its abdomen. What? The elder stared in disbelief. Chapter 3443, A Strong Return, The Devil's Corpse Split in Two. For a moment, everyone was simply stunned. They looked behind the elder as a black-robed figure with a huge sword sheath had appeared there. He was holding a blood-red saber. You are Dean Long Chen? Long Chen's name had long since spread as the youngest ever dean of the High Firmament Academy. Hence, cheers rang out from the countless experts of the Yeohu Prefecture. Just then, a furious roar rang out, and more devils in the distance flooded over them from all directions. 
there were three devils with red scales leading a new army to this place. At good. Dean Long Chen, follow us back into the city. We'll use the formation to stop them, said the elder. Everyone, please retreat into the city. This junior will embarrass himself here, said Long Chen. Long Chen then raised his left hand, and a flame lotus appeared. After that, flames were summoned from every corner of the world, and the lotus instantly grew to an enormous size. A terrifying pressure crashed down, twisting heaven and earth. The elder was pleasantly surprised. Not wasting any more time on courteous words, he directly ordered the experts fighting to crush their jade talismans. They were all transported into the city. Just then, the three devil generals charged over and Long Chan shouted, World Extermination Flame Lotus! The Flame Lotus fell, exploding amongst the army of devils. As a result, a giant mushroom cloud soared into the air. At the same time, a ripple spread on the ground. It was a wave of fire that washed across the entire devil army. Now, only the three leaders remained on the ground. Their whole bodies were black and they were on their last breaths. It was a thunderous and domineering move that made the experts watching feel fired up. Seniors, sword isn't sharp enough. I hope that this sword can help you. Long Chen's voice was ringing out from the distance. After that, a cold light flew through the air, piercing through the three devil generals' heads and killing them before flying toward that elder's hand. It was a sheathed sword. That meant Long Chen had killed those devils with just the sheath. It had to be known that those devils had almost no weaknesses, because their only vital part was their heads. Furthermore, their skulls were shockingly tough, and even king items couldn't break through them. That was why so many of them were unable to stop a single half-step world king devil that had almost no divine abilities. The elder then pulled out a few inches of the sword. The sharpness that suddenly came piercing out made his soul shiver. What a treasure! Countless startled cries rang out. That sword's runes hadn't even been activated, but it was already leaking such a sharp air. It was definitely a top-tier sword. Dean Long Chen actually gave us this sword. The elder was extremely moved. With this weapon, they shouldn't need to fear similar red-scaled devils. Suddenly, the elder shouted, Dean Long Chen, after this tribulation, I, Zhao Yixang, will personally return this to you. This treasure blade needs a good master. Senior was willing to sacrifice his life for the people, so only a divine weapon of this caliber can match your character. Long Chen's voice rang out once more, but it came from so far away that it was a bit indistinct. Di Long Chen is so young but already has such power. He even cares for the common people. Just how many generations has it been since such a figure has appeared in the human race? Sighed an earth-tier immortal king. Looking at the ruins outside the city to the three corpses of the red-scaled devils, everyone in the city had worshipful expressions. He had such power but was not arrogantly aloof. Moreover, Long Chen didn't just save them from their present predicament, but he even bestowed them with a divine weapon to protect themselves. Thus, all of them were completely won over. At the same time, they felt even greater admiration for the High Firmament Academy. When it was first announced that Long Chen had taken up the place of the Dean of the Seventh Branch Academy, they had all felt that the High Firmament Academy was playing around too much. Now, they saw that the Academy was truly wise. Clean up the battlefield. The bodies of those devils might be ruined, but their devil cores should still be intact, ordered the Elder. As expected, within the black and burnt land, they began to find fist-sized devil cores. That was where the essence of the devils was condensed. After purifying the devil Kai, they could be refined into pure energy, so they were very valuable. The Yehua Prefecture's experts quickly cleaned up the battlefield. However, Long Chen was even more excited than them. 
he had only slightly tested the world extermination flame lotus but that slight test already gave it immense power he hadn't even used the nirvana scripture so it could be seen just how much the world extermination flame lotus had improved the power of the world extermination flame lotus depended on his own control the greater his power the greater his control over flame energy previously the world extermination flame lotus's limited power was due to him not being able to control so much power if it went out of control it would damage himself however after advancing to the divine lord realm even long chen himself wasn't sure just how strong he had grown if he hadn't been surrounded by so many world kings back in the auspicious cloud prefecture he would have definitely fought to his full potential but there was no way around it back there he could not challenge a group of world kings yet however this devil army wasn't something he was afraid of he was returning to his home territory in glory and he was excited to finally have a place to use his power the high firmament academy's barrier had already been activated and countless devils were attacking it the grand formation was split into four layers in total creating three regions Navalum, calm countless experts were fighting devils in these three regions at the same time the tablets on their waists were constantly flashing how many have you got ninety seven thousand what about you fuck are you intentionally provoking them to you these experts fighting the devils still had the time to chat as they fought their tablets were being used to count their kill points once the battle was over they could exchange the points for treasures this time the academy was giving them luxurious rewards as long as they continued to kill these devils they would get the treasures that they dreamed of thus everyone was doing everything they could to kill more devils fortunately there were enough devils that people didn't start fighting over them these three regions were split into those for the four peak realm the divine lord realm and the immortal king realm the academy had used a formation to split the devils according to their realms so people could choose the battlefield that best suited their power if senior apprentice brother long chen were here do you think he would enter the divine lord battlefield asked someone suddenly don't call him that he's the dean shouted another person boom just then a huge explosion shook all three regions causing everyone to jump they saw a red devil smash into the barrier like a shooting star after that the devil slid off the barrier just like that it had actually smashed itself to its death that sight stunned everyone just what was going on when they looked further into the distance their jaws dropped chapter three thousand four hundred forty four the divine lightning elders true power outside the outermost barrier the red devils were being sent flying one by one it was as if some even more terrifying life forms had come sweeping them away what's going on aren't these devils above immortal kings exclaimed people the outermost barrier was specifically to stop the strongest devils from entering it only permitted those at the immortal king realm and below to pass through outside that barrier it was a land of absolute death even the higher ups of the academy were not permitted to set foot there just then saber light erupted sending blood and flesh flying through the air those red devils were blown apart one by one and their blood rained down oh following that a flame lotus exploded and a sea of fire erupted screams rang out as countless red devils were ignited that flame lotus isn't that senior apprentice brother long chen's trump card the world extermination flame lotus saber light flashed within the sea of flames slaughtering those red devils after that a black robed figure with a blood red saber on his shoulder walked out of the flames heavens it really is senior apprentice brother long chen no it's dean long chen when they saw that figure slaughtering the devils with ease startled cries rang out 
It was precisely Long Chen. Long Chen had long since reached the outer edges of the academy. However, it had taken him almost an hour to slaughter his way over to the barrier. Now, he didn't even know how many of those red devils he had killed. If his sense of direction wasn't so good, he might have gotten lost amongst them. When he saw the barrier, he blessed his fortune that he hadn't gone in the wrong direction. There were even more red devils in front of the barrier, tearing at it. But the barrier was extremely tough. They were unable to get a foothold in it. Hence, when Long Chen appeared, they took out their frustration on him, only for his divine ring to appear. He then slaughtered his way through them just like that. When his saber swung through the air, the red devils collapsed. Putting his saber back on his shoulder, he took a few more steps before swinging his saber again, leaving corpses in his wake. Dean Long Chen is so handsome. Countless female disciples couldn't help shouting their admiration when they saw that sight. Countless divine flame and mortal transcendence disciples within the academy weren't qualified to set foot on the battlefield, and so they were only watching, gaining experience from it. Some of them joined the academy later, so they had never seen Long Chen, but they had all heard of his name. Now when they saw this major figure whose name had shaken the heavenly swell domain, they were all moved and could only express their feelings by shouting. After reaching the formation, Long Chen directly entered. Quite a few red devils behind him were still pouncing on him, but he ignored them. This barrier was targeting those devils, so the academy's disciples could pass through it easily. Good job. I knew that I didn't misjudge you. A muscular armored expert appeared before Long Chen right as he entered the barrier, laughing. Ha ha, divine lightning elder, it's been a long time. Long Chen recognized this expert. It was the divine lightning elder that had encouraged him not long after he joined the academy. The academy had a heaven, earth, wind, and lightning elder. Back then, Long Chen hadn't been able to see the divine lightning elder's cultivation base. Now, he could tell that the latter was a terrifying immortal king. It was no wonder that the divine lightning elder hadn't placed the Pill Institute in his eyes back then. Long Chen was quite surprised to see him here. He had always remembered the elder's praise from back then. After seeing him here, sensing his vast blood kai, and hearing the thunder coming from inside his body, it was like the elder was a wild dragon. He was truly frighteningly powerful. The High Firmament Academy was truly filled with hidden dragons. They had concealed their true power deeply. The Divine Lightning Elder was also excited to see Long Chen. He patted him on the shoulder and even shook him lightly. If Long Chen wasn't strong enough, just this one pat on the shoulder might have smashed him into the ground. Sensing his powerful physical body, the Divine Lightning Elder smiled proudly. I knew that I wouldn't misjudge you. You advanced even faster than I expected. Moreover, you killed those half-step world king's devils as easily as chopping apart vegetables. As expected, the younger generation would surpass the senior generation. Divine Lightning Elder, you are overpraising me, said Long Chen with a bit of embarrassment. Go to the academy and see the dean. This is just a small matter and it is under control. They probably just want to train the children so that they don't piss themselves when they see the real devils, laughed the divine lightning elder. Hearing that, Long Chen suddenly felt that the situation was not as serious as he had anticipated. He was thinking that with the divine lightning elder's power, killing those red devils should be effortless. It seemed that they had only let themselves be surrounded as a training opportunity for the disciples. The Divine Lightning Elder was actually placed here to oversee things and make sure that the disciples didn't panic. As Long Chen walked through their midst, the disciples ran over to greet him. Long Chen then waved his hands and urged them to focus on killing their enemies. 
they shouldn't treat this as a game. Their lives didn't just belong to themselves, as they also belonged to the people that cared about them. If they didn't cherish this life, it wouldn't be bravery, but complete idiocy. At first, Long Chen was quite pleased. But when he spoke of life and death, his expression grew colder. These disciples were not true warriors. Many of them were still spoiled and pampered. If he didn't give them a stern knocking down, they could easily lose their lives in a moment of carelessness on the battlefield. This stern side instantly made those disciples fight seriously. It was far more effective than even the harshest of warnings from the elders or instructors. Once Long Chen was past the barriers, all the new disciples in the divine flame realm and mortal transcendence realm had no misgivings at all and waved at him. Long Chen waved back, and an elder brought him to see the dean. When he was introduced to the dean, he was startled. Only now did Long Chen learn that the ordinary elder who had been clearing the books in the Divine Scripture Pavilion was actually the dean. He was also by Ziol and by Shishi's grandfather, Bai Leshen. Seeing his shocked appearance, Bai Leshen laughed. But, are you very surprised, Dean? Dean, don't call me like that, please. I feel like I can't live up to that title. Just call me Long Chen, or it will make me feel strange, said Long Chen. Although he was also the Dean, he never really viewed himself as one. That title was just for him to play around with. Then I won't stand on courtesy. In private, I will just call you by your name. Bai Leshen nodded. He then became serious. Let me tell you our opponent's goal this time. It isn't the main academy, but your seventh branch academy. Furthermore, the seventh branch academy is already surrounded by three major forces and is in a critical state. Three major powers? Who are they? demanded Long Chen angrily. So many powers were targeting him. Chapter 3445. Dot headed generals, one is the devil's sea, and the second one is the devil's from outside the immortal world. The last one is the undying race's devil. I water lilies, said Bai Leshen. The undying race has also come? Long Chen was startled. He really did feel a bit of worry when it came to this race. They were truly difficult to deal with. Yes. Thus, Jan Tang and the others have gone to reinforce the Seventh Branch Academy. Their real goal is that side, said Bai Leshen. After a moment's hesitation, Long Chen couldn't help asking, Dean, I want to ask you, was this done by Lord Brahma? Most things related to Lord Brahma were taboo in the academy. Everyone who knew about him kept it a secret, but Long Chen really couldn't help asking. He felt that this was definitely done by Lord Brahma. Bai Leshen smiled. It can be said that it was and it wasn't. What does that mean? With Lord Brahma's intellect, he wouldn't make such a childish move. For them to be in such a rush to destroy the Seventh Branch Academy, they have essentially revealed the powers that Lord Brahma controls. No matter what, Lord Brahma is from the immortal world. Even if some people do know some of the old secrets, they don't mention them to others. On the surface, Lord Brahma appears to be a powerful overlord of the immortal world with absolute authority. He wouldn't let others know that he can control the other forces. Long Chen came to a sudden understanding. You mean to say that it was done by those dot-headed generals underneath Lord Brahma? In other words, they panicked once we took back the Seventh Branch Academy, and they directly communicated with those powers without discussing it with Lord Brahma first. Bai Leshen nodded. Dog-headed generals is an appropriate description for them. Only fools would act so openly and directly. Lord Brahma and fallen Danite are in seclusion, so everything is done by their subordinates, disciples, and disciples of their disciples. Based on our understanding, there are only a few people with this kind of authority amongst Lord Brahma's subordinates. 
A crafty old fellow like Imputa is always meticulous. He likes to scheme things through without leaving any evidence of his actions, so this definitely wasn't done by him. My personal guess is that it was done by the Nine Underworld Hall's master, Lyo Benke. Although he is an assassin, he has an explosive temper, and his head isn't that bright. He has always been at odds with Impuda. Although Impuda appears to be suppressed by him on the surface with the difference in brains, there's no way he can outplay Impuda. Impuda simply knows how to endure. Taking back the Seventh Branch Academy caused them to panic. For such a major thing to occur while Lord Brahma is in seclusion, they wanted to quickly fix it. But once wood has been turned into a boat, it cannot be turned back. They are willing to pay any price to destroy the Seventh Branch Academy before Lord Brahma comes out of seclusion. The mastermind is probably Lyo Benkeng, and if my guess is right, Imputa will have argued with him and then lost the argument on purpose. That way, if Lyo Benkeng does succeed, nothing bad will happen to Imputa. And if Lyo Benkeng fails, he will have a way to escape his sins. Long Chen nodded. Imputa was truly a schemer, and such a forceful play was unlike him. This must have been done by Lyo Benkeng. However, who would have thought that a person with such a foolish head would be an assassin under Lord Brahma? Was there no one else he could find? Furthermore, based on Bai Leshen's tone, he didn't particularly care about Imputa and the others' attack. Dean, what is their goal in this battle? It is meaningless, no, asked Long Chen. Even after gathering three major powers, they were unable to break the Academy's barrier. Then what was the point? Bai Leshen smiled slightly. Attrition. Long Chen instantly understood. It seemed that they were playing just who had more ammo. They were competing in terms of manpower, physical resources, and financial power. This kind of attrition might not have any effect for one or two months. But what about after three or five years? Or thirty or fifty years? The High Firmament Academy was said to have declined, so they definitely couldn't beat Lord Brahma in terms of manpower, physical resources, or financial power. Although this was a simple play, it was quite effective. It was just that they had neglected to consider one aspect. That was that whether it was the devil crystals of the devils, the demonic cores of the sea demons, or the corpses of the devil eye water lilies, they were all very valuable. After they were killed, their corpses could be traded for immense wealth. If the fighters were strong enough and kept the casualties within a certain range, they would actually profit. Furthermore, they were backed by Zhen Wenlong. These demonic cores, devil crystals, and so on could be rapidly sold and turned into useful materials. They wanted to compete in a battle of attrition. Then they could compete to their heart's content. Seeing that disdainful smile, Bai Leshen also smiled. It seems that you are already prepared. He he, it can't count as preparations. I've just made some small fortune during this time, and it should be able to help with our current predicament, said Long Chen. Only then did Bai Leshen have a chance to ask Long Chen about what had happened after he fell for Imputa's scheme. Long Chen told the dean a bit about how he had entered the netherworld. After breaking through the void, he appeared in the integral heaven star field, coincidentally running into the opening of their divine lord mortal realm. He didn't bother concealing anything about the integral heaven star field. Hearing all this, Bai Leshen was stunned, but he also found it comical. You turned a disaster into a blessing. Even the protector spirit of the integral heaven star field has helped you. Since you've gained so much wealth, I won't be so courteous with you. In the future, the expenses of your seventh branch academy will have to be paid by yourself. Originally, with the seventh branch academy under siege, the main academy was paying close to a thousand immortal king crystals every day just to maintain the barrier. As for the medicinal pills, damaged weapons and other fees, 
they were all paid by the battle. Since Long Chen had money, Bai Leshen was quite direct. He could pay for himself. Long Chen laughed. Now he understood what it meant for riches to lead to domineeringness. With money he could stand tall. Dean, do you think it's possible to draw out Lord Brahma's subordinates and end them? Long Chen made a throat-cutting gesture. Bai Leshen was startled and then laughed. I know that your current power can challenge ordinary world kings. But you don't know the differences between world kings. Let us not speak of the differences between early, mid, and late stage world kings. The likes of Imputa and Lyo Ben King have countless believers, so they have an enormous amount of faith energy. World kings like them have power that exceeds your imagination. Do not compare them to the world kings of the demonic beast races. Although Long Chen also knew that Imputa wasn't an ordinary world king, he hadn't expected Bai Leshen to give him such a response. His heart then turned a bit cold. However, he forced out a smile. I can't, but what about the academy? You definitely have the power to kill them, no? Yee Bai Leshen simply laughed and didn't reply. Long Chen knew that this old fellow wouldn't tell him the truth. The academy had truly hidden itself deeply. The heaven, earth, wind, and lightning elders were extremely terrifying. The divine lightning elder was ranked last amongst them, so the other three must be even more terrifying. But if the dean refused to tell him, Long Chen could only let it be. In the end, when Long Chen prepared to return to the seventh branch academy, Bai Leshen warned him, If you have the ability, then go ahead and show it. As long as you don't randomly run around, the academy will definitely protect you. Fearing that, Long Chen was at ease. He excitedly stepped on the transportation formation. Chapter 3446 Divine Object of the Primal Chaos Era The sound of a broom sweeping lightly across the ground rang out, along with the crinkling of some leaves being swept. No matter how great the vitality of a tree, no matter how long it could live without changing, its leaves would still be constantly replaced. If more leaves were growing, then more leaves had to fall. It was a cycle that went around and around. Perhaps this was also another kind of interpretation of life. The sound of the devils and screams of slaughter were loud, but the sweeping elder didn't seem to hear them. He was focused entirely on sweeping. It seemed that even if the heavens were to collapse, it wouldn't hinder his sweeping. Senior by Leshen, arrived and bowed respectfully to the sweeping elder. What is it? What problem have you encountered? The elder still had his head down as he continued sweeping. He spoke very casually. Long Chen has returned. He concealed what he had experienced, said by Leshen somewhat solemnly. And then? Asked the sweeping elder. The high firmament divine sword sensed an aura on Long Chen that made it uneasy said by Leshen. Oh, the sweeping elder was finally moved. He stopped sweeping, a trace of astonishment appearing in his turbid eyes. Something that could make the high firmament divine sword uneasy. Most likely, only those divine objects from the primal chaos era could cause such a thing. Did the high firmament divine sword say where this uneasy aura came from? No, it wasn't on Long Chen. But Long Chen has been stained by its aura. The high firmament divine sword is unable to tell what exactly it is. Now that Long Chen is getting stronger and stronger, I am worried. You are worried that Long Chen is a double sided sword. He has powerful enemies outside and a heart devil inside. You fear he will walk down the evil path? asked the sweeping elder. Bai Leshen nodded. This time, Long Chen's aura was completely different from before. He seemed like a sealed devil lord slowly breaking free from his seal bit by bit, revealing a sharp and dangerous light. Don't be so afraid. Long Chen is a nine-star heir, and he is also different from other nine-star heirs. He is a divergent. He is a heaven to fear. He is a game-breaker. 
if he becomes an immortal good if he becomes a devil fine this deadlock of the nine heavens and ten lands requires someone with extraordinary means to break free who cares what method he uses if you use someone do not doubt them if you doubt someone then don't use them ah your guts are shrinking more and more this is no good when jantain becomes a world king you should abdicate your position to him the elder shook his head and he once more started sweeping senior how can that be that little fellow is far too hot-headed by leshen jumped in shock he understood his son well when his head got hot he didn't care about anything else how could by leshen possibly entrust the academy to him aha it's just a joke don't take it seriously laughed the sweeping elder by leshen rolled his eyes after knowing this sweeping elder for so many years he had never been so casual so for him to suddenly make a joke by leshen was caught off guard do you know when i chatted with long chen before this he said something that moved me greatly the elder suddenly paused and sat on the ground by leshen also quickly sat and asked what did he say the sweeping elder shook his head these weren't his words but the words that his adoptive father told him pigs run forward chicks run back birds don't even pee thus every person has their own doubt i didn't by leshen was left dumbfounded he had expected something profound but the sweeping elder's serious expression didn't seem to be that of someone joking around the elder smiled in truth many profound principles are contained within somewhat vulgar words the lives of mortals are over in a flash a person may not even live to a hundred but the principles they comprehend during this time are quite shocking if you carefully examine them on the surface every single day cultivators are comprehending the heavenly dows grasping the profundities of the world cultivating magical arts training divine abilities extending their lifespans and flying through the air in the eyes of mortals we are omniscient omnipotent but in reality just how much of the heavenly dows can we truly comprehend well by leshen couldn't reply even after cultivating to his realm he wasn't able to give a precise definition of the heavenly dows furthermore his cultivation was done by standing on the shoulders of those who had come before him his cultivation path was cleared by his predecessors and this was true for all of them they could just close their eyes and walk down this set path thus no matter what life form it is they have their own special means to live it can be considered the path that the heavenly Taoists gave them this is true of every person but long chen has his own Tao. his Tao is unique and his path is one that defies the heavens changing his fate for him to come to our high firmament academy there are some things that are set by fate you don't need to think about how to help him nor should you treat him like a child requiring him to get your consent for every little matter give him his freedom yes by leshen respectfully bowed his head seeing the elder pick up his broom he left just after by leshen left the image of a sword silently appeared in front of the elder the elder looked at that sword image do not tell leshen about these kinds of things that is the aura of a divine item from the primal chaos era if leshen learns too much it will infect him with karma if his life isn't tough enough he will lose it the sword image quivered slightly as if nodding the elder stared at the sword image the two of them seemed to be communicating after a moment the elder narrowed his eyes the aura of the netherworld then it should be even the divine objects of the primal chaos era have appeared the nine heavens and ten lands are definitely about to enter a great era all kinds of monsters will be appearing one after another i wonder if these old bones of mine will be able to deal with them the elder shook his head slightly before lowering his head and continuing to sweep the transportation formation lit up and long chen walked out of it 
After that, countless startled cries rang out. Before he could even see anything, a burst of fragrance struck Long Chen, and a soft body crashed into him. Bai Shishi hugged him tightly. I knew that a scoundrel like you wouldn't die. Long Chen was startled. The countless disciples around the transportation formation were also startled. As for Bai Jiantang, he froze. Only Bai Shishi's mother and Bai Ziyol's mother exchanged a look and smiled. Long Chen saw countless experts in the surroundings, vigilantly guarding against the unexpected. For Bai Shishi to hug him like this in front of them, even he felt a bit odd. Only then did Bai Shishi react. Her face was as red as an apple. She then viciously punched him, covered her face, and fled. Buzz. Once Bai Shishi left, Bai Ziyol, Kin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixing surrounded him excitedly. Ever since Long Chen had vanished within the spatial channel, their hearts had been clenched in worry. Now that he was back, they shouted in excitement. Boss, you even advanced to the Divine Lord realm? Kin Feng was shocked. Long Chen had actually advanced first. No way. Boss, how could you do that? We were waiting to undergo tribulation with you, cried Bai Ziyol disappointedly. They had long since reached the point of being able to advance to the Divine Lord realm, but in order to obtain the most benefits from the heavenly tribulation, they were waiting to go through it with Long Chen. No worry. Gather everyone. I'll bring you through your tribulation. Long Chen waved his hand heroically. Just then, the grand formation of the Seventh Branch Academy rumbled. Chapter 3447 Who is the Bader Boss? Quick, replace the immortal king crystals, shouted Bai Zhanteng. The attack of the devils rapidly depleted the energy of the immortal king crystals maintaining the formation. It's only been two hours since we last replaced them. It seems that they have increased their attack power. Bai Shishi's mother frowned, looking at the devils outside the formation. If this continues, the immortal king crystals we have won't last more than a few days, said Heaven Master Yun Yang gravely. Heaven Master Yun Yang and Heaven Master Dong Ming had been promoted to deputy deans of the academy. Essentially, Long Chen had left all the work to the two of them. So, in the past two days, the two of them had gotten quite a few more white hairs. The main academy had sent over immortal king crystals to support the formation, but they would only last at most three more days at this rate. In just one day, almost a thousand immortal king crystals were exhausted. That was an incredibly painful price. Your dean is back, and he doesn't seem worried at all, so what are you all worried about? said Bai Zhanteng irritably. He was left in a bad mood from seeing Bai Shishi run up and hug Long Chen, so he intentionally said some cold words. What kind of attitude is that? After seeing the great dean, shouldn't you hurry and bow in greeting? Instead you act arrogant. It seems that you don't place my boss, the dean, in your eyes, chided Bai Zio. With Long Chen's return, he instantly stood up straighter. Bai Shishi and Bai Ziyol's mothers laughed when they heard that. But Bai Zhantang's expression darkened. He angrily roared, You little brat, you don't know who the bigger boss is. Bai Zhantang grabbed Bai Ziyol by the collar. He would show his son who the boss was today. In the past few days, Bai Ziyol had been very obedient in front of Bai Zhantang, making him happy. So, he had given his son quite a few good things during this time. But now, this little fellow instantly flipped on him when Long Chan returned. It seemed that all his previous respectfulness had been faked. As his father, Bai Zhanteng felt like he needed to teach his son a lesson. Just then, Bai Zhanteng's wrist was caught by Long Chen's hand. He naturally couldn't let Bai Ziyol suffer for him. Sorry, Deputy Palace Master, this place is the Seventh Branch Academy. I am the biggest one here, said Long Chen with a smile. Suddenly, 
the bricks beneath Bai Jianteng and Long Chen's feet shattered. Clearly, the two of them were competing. As the ground was unable to endure their power, cracks spread on the ground. Just then, a hand slapped Bai Jiantang on the back of his head. Unexpectedly, it was Bai Shishi's mother. This graceful and elegant woman was now frosty with anger. The slap on the back of his head sent Bai Jiantang reeling. Just how old are you to quibble with a child? Can the bigger boss be so immature? Everyone, including Long Chen, was shocked and their jaws dropped. In her current state, she seemed to be a tigress, a completely different person from her normally warm self. As a result, Bai Jiantang's fury vanished. Like a defeated rooster, he lowered his head and didn't make a sound. I wanted to give you some face, but you get more and more out of control. We're leaving. Stop embarrassing yourself here, ordered Bai Shishi's mother. Bai Jianteng really did leave just like that with his head down, let alone Long Chen. Even Bai Ziol was stunned. He only reacted after a moment and cried out, And, you're so amazing. As soon as she turned to look at Bai Ziol, her anger vanished. She returned to her warm self and smiled at him. Then, you can't indulge them too much, or they'll think that they've become a god, don't you think? Long Chen instantly caught goosebumps all over. These words were clearly for him. Cough, Deputy Dean Yanyang, Deputy Dean Dongming, when it comes to immortal king crystals, there's no need for you to worry. As long as I am present, we won't be lacking money. When Long Chen waved his hand, countless people cried out in shock. It was because a small mountain of immortal king crystals had appeared. The clear sound of a few crystals rolling down was exceptionally pleasant in their ears. Everyone was stunned, even by Shishi and by Zayol's mothers. Even experts on their level were shocked. After all, seeing hundreds of thousands of immortal king crystals at once was truly shocking. Evan Master Dong Ming and Yan Yang were delighted. Now we're saved. These immortal king crystals will be enough to last us several months, said Heaven Master Dong Ming excitedly. What are you talking about? This is just some pocket money that is to be given to everyone as a side benefit. Every expert who came to support us will get a portion. We can't let them come for nothing, or they'll think that our seventh branch academy is stingy, said Long Chen waving his hand. Pocket money. Side benefit. Everyone was stunned. Long Chan was actually going to split these immortal king crystals with everyone. Bai Shishi and Bai Ziol's mothers were stunned. Furthermore, Bai Jianteng, who had just dejectedly left, now ran back. Little fellow, those are your words. It just so happens that my brothers are missing some pocket money. Bai Jiantang eyed those immortal king crystals. Before he was even done talking, Bai Shishi's mother grabbed his ear and dragged him away. We came due to the academy's orders, and we have to carry out those orders. How can we ask for other rewards? Chided Bai Shishi's mother. This doesn't count as that. Just who is Long Chen? He is the dean. How can you not give face to the dean? said Bai Jiateng righteously. Can you save yourself some face? demanded Bai Shishi's mother. For my brothers who cares about face, said Bai Jiateng loftily. The seniors. Long Chen hastily interrupted them. The deputy palace master is correct. You have come to save us twice. These immortal king crystals are only a small token of my gratitude, so you must accept them. But right now, the defenses are more important, said Bai Shishi's mother. She was of the opinion that Long Chen had taken out these immortal king crystals due to the words that she had just said in order to win some face. I already said that this is just some pocket change. The Academy's regular expenses have been taken care of here. Long Chen directly tossed a chest to Heaven Master Dong Ming. 
Heaven Master Dong Ming opened it and almost cried out. After that, he hastily covered up the chest. But from Bai Shishi's mother's vantage point, she had managed to catch a glimpse of the interior. It was a huge space filled with immortal king crystals. That was more immortal king crystals than she had ever seen in her entire life. That one chest had ten million immortal king crystals. Heaven Master Dong Ming almost fainted. Despite knowing that everyone in this place could be trusted, he still immediately covered it. Although others couldn't see what was inside the chest, just from his expression, they knew that there had to be more immortal king crystals inside compared to what Long Chen had taken out before. After seeing those immortal king crystals, Bai Shishi's mother understood that Long Chen wasn't joking around. She then released Bai Zhanteng. Bai Zhanteng didn't stand on courtesy and directly gathered the pocket change of immortal king crystals. Before leaving, he hesitated for a moment, seemingly pondering if he should thank Long Chen. But he then left without saying anything. Zio, gather all the four peak disciples. I'll lead you through your collective tribulation, said Long Chen, laughing heroically. Hearing this, all the disciples inside the Seventh Branch Academy shouted excitedly. They had been waiting a long time for this day. Chapter 3000 448 Collective Tribulation Boom. The formation shuddered and divine light erupted. After that, those devils attacking the barrier were blown to dust. At the same time, a ripple spread. All the devils within 10,000 miles of the barrier were wiped out. Watching this scene, Bai Zhanteng cursed Long Chen for being a rich moneybags inside. This one attack had cost 3,000 immortal king crystals. His heart was dripping blood seeing this. Long Chen was amazed by the formation's power. If this large area attack was condensed into a single ray, it truly did have the power to kill a world king. As for the price of 3,000 immortal king crystals to the wealthy Long Chen, it was only like a single hair off of nine oxen. He didn't even feel the cost. Just then, the transportation formation lit up and young disciples came flooding off. There were 9,000 of them, led by Luo Changwu. The Seventh Branch Academy had a transportation formation linked right to the Luo family. Long Chen had already sent word to them to gather their disciples. After wiping out those interfering devils, the formation connecting the academy to the Luo family could instantly activate so the 9,000 disciples were all brought over. The reason Long Chen had spent a huge sum to construct this transportation formation was partially due to his care for the Luo family and also partially for the Luo family's owning heavenly staircase. It was truly a priceless treasure to a cultivator. The academy's disciples also needed tempering. Over 2,000 disciples of the Academy and the 9,000 disciples of the Luo family were sent outside the barrier, getting a certain distance away. Over 10,000 of them were present, their hearts pounding wildly in their chests. It was their first time hearing of a group undergoing tribulation with so many people. So they were exceptionally excited. As for Heaven Master Dong Ming and the others, they were a bit worried. If something happened, and all these elite disciples were wiped out, how would they explain themselves? Will this really work? Bai Shishi stood beside Long Chen. She seemed to have forgotten her previous embarrassment. Her heavenly tribulation wasn't something that ordinary people could endure. Furthermore, a divine lord like Long Chen was standing in their midst, so her heart clenched. This could be a major mistake. I find that you are the one with the least confidence in me, said Long Chen with a bitter smile. Bai Shishi looked around. It seemed that this really was the case. Not one disciple here seemed worried at all, as their eyes were shining brightly. That kind of blind confidence was inexplicable to her. Start announced Long Chen. Following that, everyone's aura surged. Bai Shishi, Bai Xiaol, Kin Feng, Kai Yu, Zhu Zixin, Mu Qingyun, 
Yuo Bing and Yuo Ning were all amongst them. Over ten thousand people broke through their shackles, charging into the divine lord realm. The heavens shook. At this moment, countless tribulation clouds surged, and a terrifying pressure shook people's hearts. Heaven Master Yan Yang stared in fright at the massive tribulation clouds. The youngsters these days are crazy. Long Chen looked at the tribulation clouds and frowned as well. Bai Shishi immediately asked, What is it? Did something happen? This heavenly tribulation is weaker than I expected. That doesn't seem right, said Long Chen curiously. How could that be? The heavenly tribulation's destructive aura is causing my soul to shake. One mistake and we might all die. How can you call it weak? Bai Shishi looked at him in confusion. Long Chen shook his head. Suddenly, he had a thought. Could it be due to the heavenly Tao mark? Standing here, he didn't sense any hostility from the heavenly tribulation. If it was before, the heavenly tribulation would immediately want to kill him as if he had killed their father. This time, the heavenly tribulation didn't even notice him. That's fine, too. If it can't see me, it will give everyone else some buffer time. Then I just need to silently watch, thought Long Chen. Just then, a drizzle of lightning fell onto their bodies. The first wave of this tribulation was very gentle. Everyone found it easy. Everyone bathed in the lightning drizzle, but they knew that the real danger lay at the end. Thus, they did their best to absorb as much of this lightning as possible to quickly raise the power of their bodies to face the end of the tribulation. Just then, long lightning dragons appeared. They swam within the lightning tribulation, absorbing the lightning that didn't fall on people's bodies. Lei Linger had transformed into tens of thousands of lightning dragons to absorb the leftover lightning here. She had ended up devouring too many lightning runes in the integral heaven star field. The last batch in particular was so powerful that refining them took up a great deal of energy. If relying just on herself, it would take at least ten more days to finish refining those runes. But now, by borrowing everyone's heavenly tribulation, she could use the weak lightning here to refine that strong lightning. It could be considered killing two birds with one stone. At first, the disciples were stunned to see the violet lightning dragons swimming around them. They had never seen lightning life forms like them. Even the experts inside the academy, including the battle god palace's experts, were startled. Long Chen controls Thunder Force himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't make everyone take this risk, said Bai Ziol's mother with a smile. Last time, she had personally witnessed the entirety of Long Chen's tribulation. Now, she found that the aura of those lightning dragons of his had grown even more terrifying. With the descent of the lightning tribulation, those devils attacking the academy fled. This kind of supreme Yang power was precisely what they were most afraid of. After an incense stick's worth of time, the lightning rain grew stronger and bigger. The drops went from the size of a thumb to the size of a chicken egg, and their power grew explosively. It then went from the size of a chicken egg to a head. Now... The drops were exploding, possessing a certain killing power. After that, they transformed into lightning swords, which grew sharper and sharper. After two hours, people started to be injured. Evan Master Yun Yang started to grow uneasy. They were not even halfway through the tribulation, but people were starting to be injured. How would they face the rest of the tribulation? When another incense stick's worth of time passed, lightning beasts appeared in the sky. With their arrival, the situation became a bit chaotic. There were too many of those lightning beasts, and they came from every direction. These disciples clearly didn't have experience against lightning beasts. Lightning beasts normally only appeared when advancing to the Divine Lord realm and onward. So, most of these disciples had not encountered them in their tribulations yet. Furthermore, it was also said 
that an ordinary person would only have nine lightning beasts appear in their tribulation, and they would only appear at the end. Killing those nine lightning beasts would mean that the tribulation was over. Only primals would have ninety-nine lightning beasts in their tribulation. But this time, although the ones undergoing tribulation were all primals, the number of lightning beasts was numbered in the millions. Furthermore, they continued to stream out of the tribulation clouds. There was an endless tide of them. Now, the situation instantly turned grave. Quite a few people looked toward Long Chen. If you fall to such weak lightning beasts, I won't save you. You won't be worth saving and can just die in humiliation. Long Chen's icy voice shook their hearts. Chapter 3449 Gain Some Profit Every Person Wants Power Every person wants to encounter some miraculous opportunity that can change their fate. Every person hopes to accomplish what takes others years to do in just a day. They want shortcuts that allow them to skip decades ahead of others. They want to soar to the top and look down on their old peers. I have a responsibility to tell you that there are no shortcuts in cultivation. If you want to accomplish in a day what others accomplish in decades, then you'll need to pay the pain of the decades of work compressed into a single day. If you can endure it, you will be completely transformed. If you cannot, you will be turned to dust. No one can change this law. The reason I am stronger than you isn't because my talent is higher or because I'm smarter than you. It is because I was forced to get stronger. What I endured is not something you can imagine. This power of mine was tempered through countless brushes against death. I had no choice but to get stronger, because if I didn't get stronger I would die. Furthermore, my death would be very miserable. You only see my strong side, but you don't see what lies behind it. If you can't even endure such a weak tribulation, then don't even think about changing your fate that the heavens decided for you. Especially the Liuo family's disciples. You keep saying that you will restore the Liuo family's glory, but is that something that can be accomplished just by talking? You're not talented enough to look down on others. You don't have a world king or a divine venerate as a father or mother. What will you use to compete with others? Right now, the only thing you can do is compete with your life. Create a new world for yourself and create a new future for yourself. Originally, you had the choice to not try changing your fate, but that chance is gone now. You've already chosen to undergo tribulation with me. Either you will change or you die. Trust me, I can see every single person's talent here. This little heavenly tribulation is nothing to you. Use the threat of death to squeeze out your potential. Force yourself to erupt with greater power. Don't let your potential lie dormant within your body. Awaken it so that you can change your fate with this heavenly tribulation. You will then be reborn, and your lives will completely change. Long Chen's voice rang out above the rumbling of the heavenly tribulation. It was like a celestial god's voice ringing out above the nine heavens. The experts, feeling immense pressure, were revitalized by Long Chen's speech. Their blood heated up. Perhaps they didn't believe in themselves, but they did not doubt Long Chen. This was the charisma of the strong. In the cultivation world, many people simply had blind trust in the strong. That was especially true when the words came from someone like Long Chen, who was practically a miraculous existence. Every single word he said was firmly believed by them without a doubt. If Long Chen said that they had immense potential inside them, they instantly felt like their bodies were overflowing with power, as if their potential was right in the midst of awakening. Pil, Zhu Zixin, this simple-minded fellow, immediately charged out. He was the one most affected by Long Chen's words. Even his eyes were red, as his thirst for power was incredibly intense. After following Long Chen for a while, he could tell that he had transformed and he wanted to get even stronger. He charged out, 
taking the initiative to go against those lightning beasts. Taking out his weapon, he slaughtered them. Kin Feng and Kai Yu shook their heads. Long Chen's words were for others to listen. What was this fellow getting so emotional for? However, following Zhu Zixian's display of power, the other disciples were also affected. Rather than passively defending, they all charged out, launching a crazy counterattack against the lightning beasts. Their morale soared. When everyone set aside their fear, their battle intent soared. It was an indescribable power. Every person's soaring morale was affecting the other, constantly stimulating each other's wills. Like charcoal in the furnace, they ignited each other, growing more and more powerful. In just a few breaths' time, the lightning beasts were no longer able to suppress them. They charged out against the lightning beasts. A huge number of lightning beasts were devoured, and powerful lightning runes quickly filled the air, strengthening their bodies. As a result, their physical bodies and power continuously climbed. This was a normal phenomenon, but as these disciples crazily attacked, they didn't even realize that. They simply felt that their bodies were overflowing with power. They even thought that this was their potential being unleashed. In their delight, they went even crazier to excavate even more potential. Seeing Long Chen ignite the disciples' passions so intensely with just a speech, Bai Jiantang curled his lips. What a con man! Bai Xiao's mother covered her smile with her hand. What? Deputy Palace Master, are you jealous? What is there for me to be jealous of? My brothers don't need to be conned, snorted Bai Jiantang disdainfully. But these people aren't Long Chen's brothers. With just a few words, Long Chen was able to make them forget the pressure, allowing them to directly face the fear in their hearts and instantly unite them. It seems that our palace master doesn't have such an ability, right? said Bai Zhao's mother with a giggle. Bai Jiantang was irritated, but he was also unable to find any words to retort. Seeing Bai Shishi's mother also starting to covertly giggle, he said, You're still in the mood to laugh. Your treasured daughter is going to be conned away by this fellow due to his glib tongue. A glib tongue is better than a foolish tongue. At the very least, he knows how to say things that others like, unlike some people who can't say a single word of endearment after so many years. It seems that Shishi's vision is far better than her mother's. Looks, potential, talent, character, he he as expected of my daughter, said by Shishi's mother with praise. The two of you. Bai Jiantang's expression darkened. These two wives of his were actually standing on the side of that little fellow. What? You've accepted the betrothal gift. Don't you think it's rude for you to talk badly about your future son-in-law? Asked Bai Shishi's mother, curling her lips. What betrothal gift? Bai Jiantang was startled. He then thought of the immortal king crystals and furiously raged. That's not that's enough. HMPH, after eating other people's food, you can't be rude to them. You're going to talk badly about him behind his back. You're quite something. Bai Shishi's mother glared at Bai Jiantang before turning away and focusing on the heavenly tribulation again. In the heavenly tribulation, more and more lightning beasts appeared. They also constantly grew stronger. But the disciples' morale was still high. They were fighting at full power. Saber images raged and sword Kai rumbled. The battle was exceptionally intense. After two hours, these disciples began to have dark red mist surrounding their bodies. That was no manifestation, but the result of their sweat and essence blood mixing together after being excited. Even the essence mist has appeared. These children really aren't bad. They are stimulating so much of their potential. Heaven Master Yun Yang was pleasantly surprised. As a Heaven Master, he naturally knew that this mist was the result of their potential being stimulated to a certain extent. Their essence blood had silently ignited without them even being aware of it. 
they were starting to overdraft their power. In a heavenly tribulation, the more power you overdrafted, and the more potential you activated, the more you would absorb from the heavenly tribulation. It was the opposite of overdrafting your power during normal times, so it was very beneficial. However, normal people didn't dare to go so far. If they reached their limit before the heavenly tribulation ended and didn't have the power to endure it, they would die. Suddenly, the void rumbled and the lightning beasts vanished. In return, a sinister aura enveloped the land. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. As expected, they had also been infected by this karma. Not bad, Lei Linger would get to gain some profit. Chapter 3450, The Real Start Just as Long Chen predicted, a sinister Kai enveloped the land. At this moment, dried-up corpses in strange clothes began to come out of the tribulation clouds. Those ancient corpses made Bai Ziol cry out in shock. He instantly recognized them as the corpses he had encountered on the ghost ship. Bai Zhantang and the others' hearts shook. Those corpses had the aura of the ghost Dao on them. It was the specific aura of life forms of the ghost Dao. Unexpectedly, they had been manifested by the heavenly tribulation. When those ancient corpses appeared, all the disciples undergoing tribulation felt a chill. That aura provoked the most primitive sense of fear within them. Just as they descended, the lightning dragons that were swimming in the surroundings grouped together, forming a giant yurt around every one. There was only a single opening at the top. This way, those ancient corpses would have to come through that opening. At this time, by Shishi, by Xiaol, Kin Feng, Kai Yu, Zhu Zixin, and the others charged to the top, attacking them. Bai Shishi's face was slightly pale. She had an innate fear of the ghost Dao's life forms. That was directly related to Bai Jantang, but she knew that she had to conquer this fear. Otherwise, if the ghost Dao's life forms appeared in any battles in the future, she would be seriously affected by this fear. Seeing Bai Shishi charge up, Bai Zio felt that it would be too embarrassing for him to retreat. Afraid of being laughed at by others, he charged up as well. These ghost Dao life forms manifested by the heavenly Daos actually weren't that strong. Bai Shishi's sword swung through the air, and those ancient corpses were cut down in droves. Seeing Bai Shishi slaughter them so easily, Bai Zio's guts also grew. He attacked those lightning ancient corpses together with everyone else. If you feel that you are capable, you can try it. If you feel that you can't, then just wait at the rear and it's fine, said Long Chen. Those frightened disciples instantly grew tumultuous. Seeing that Bai Shishi had charged out, it felt like they would be admitting that they couldn't do anything if they didn't join in. It was as if they were about to take a swig of alcohol and someone said that they could avoid drinking it if they couldn't. The challenge fully provoked them. Kill! Clenching their teeth, those disciples suppressed their fear and charged forward. They were ferocious, and just relying on this provocation, they completely stopped that army of ancient corpses. The power of these ancient corpses should be around the early immortal king realm and is technically stronger than they are. They've already started overdrafting their power but are still able to endure. Long Chen is right. They really will completely transform after this tribulation, said Bai Shishi's mother. She saw that these disciples were all panting and covered in sweat but still roaring furiously and charging forward. This is Long Chen's charisma. With him present, others can forget their fear. Perhaps they have no confidence in themselves, but their confidence in Long Chen has never wavered. These disciples were unafraid of death. They had a new conviction, and that was that they would rather be beaten to death than be scared away. It was this conviction that let them enter a state of forgetting even themselves. They only knew to fight all out and forgot everything else. However, going all out like this, 
some disciples suddenly fainted in less than an instant's sticks worth of time they had used up everything they had there was no longer any trace of energy in their bodies once they collapsed lightning chains grabbed them and dragged them to the rear but they were left just suspended in the air no way even after they fainted he won't let them off heaven master yun yang noticed that even as those fainted people were bound by the lightning chains more lightning runes continued to merge into their bodies forcibly tempering their bodies more and more disciples collapsed but seeing that the other disciples only grew more excited for them to be able to endure while others couldn't meant that they were at least a bit stronger however it wasn't long before only just over a thousand people were left fighting from the original eleven thousand this proved that their potential was greater than others yuo changwu watched excitedly he saw that many of the yuo family's disciples had violet marks appear in their eyes right before they collapsed that was a sign of their bloodline awaking it had to be known that in all these years every generation in the yuo family would only have a few dozen talented disciples capable of activating their bloodline power now so many people were starting to awaken their bloodline yuo changwu even had the urge to cry yuo zichuan had left the yuo family to him and yuo changwen so both of them felt a heavy pressure however with long chen's help the yuo family was growing stronger day by day they were growing more and more glorious entering an unprecedented era they all wished that luo zichuan could see their current state after another instance sticks worth of time only over ten experts remained by shishi by xiao kin feng kai yu zu zichuan yuo bing yuo ning mu Qingyan, zhang ling zhang ziu and a few others were still capable of enduring the rest had collapsed. At this time, the ghost Dao's life forms had reached the mid immortal king realm. Although Bai Shishi's sword was as sharp as lightning, she was unable to stop all of them. Thus, everyone else was under a great deal of pressure. In just a few breaths' time, Liuo Bing, Liuo Ning, Mu Qingyun, and the others exhausted all their remaining energy and fainted now it was only by shishi by Xiaol, zhu zixin kin feng and kai yu still enduring by Xiaol's three flower pupils revolved in his eyes but he actually looked at zhu zixin and shouted big brother zixin don't fight any longer i can see that you've reached your limit long chen was speechless it seemed that by Xiaol didn't want to give up before zhu zixin Amongst the five of them, Zhu Zixin was the weakest. If he gave up first, it would be admitting that he was inferior to Zhu Zixin. This child was actually trying to make him give up. Zhu Zixin clenched his teeth. He was soaked in sweat and panting as he swung his rod. I'm fine. I can endure. But I can't endure much longer. Bai Zayol was so anxious that he actually said exactly what he was thinking. After realizing it, he hastily shut his mouth. As for Bai Shishi, she was continuing to cut down those ghost Dao life forms. Her fear of the ghost Dao was growing dull bit by bit. Even now, she wasn't out of breath. Kin Feng and Kai Yu were also still in top condition. Furthermore, due to their combat experience, they were well suited to group battles. Their auras were not showing any signs of weakening. Thus, it was Bai Ziol who was the most bitter now. He had a splitting headache. That was the result of overdrafting his spiritual strength. He had used his pupil arts liberally in order to show off his power and had killed countless tribulation manifestations. Although it was very flashy and drew attention, it cost a great deal of energy. He could not hold on much longer. However, the only thing keeping him going was that he didn't want to fall before Zhu Zixin. So, he clenched his teeth and endured, trying to save as much of his spiritual strength as possible to outlast Zhu Zixin. 
after an incense stick's worth of time, Baizayel finally couldn't last any more. His eyes rolled into the back of his head, and he fainted. Just after he fainted, Zuzikshin coughed up a mouthful of blood. He was injured by one of those ancient corpses, and fainted as well. There was no more than the blink of an eye between the two of them falling. Now it's just the three of you. Now we can really get started. Long Chen flicked his finger. A flash of fire soared into the sky and exploded amongst the tribulation clouds. The calm tribulation clouds instantly went crazy. It was like a wild beast had been awoken. A murderous aura filled the air. Chapter 3451 Lone Shark Returns Long Chen's Actions Horrified Countless People, but Kin Feng and Kai Yu didn't even react. They were already used to it. Rumbling sounds rang out within their bodies as their blood Kai was raised to the pinnacle. The two of them knew that this was the true tribulation. Before this, they had just been looking after the others. Boom! The heavenly tribulation quivered, and the levels of those ancient corpses instantly soared to the late immortal king realm. Kill! Kin Fen and Kai Yu shouted at the same time, charging into the clouds and obliterating those ancient corpses that descended from the heavens. The two of them blasted through the current of ancient corpses, and their divine weapons quivered as they attacked fearlessly. At this moment, they displayed bravery that moved countless people. What a powerful battle intent! They are true warriors. There were dozens of experts behind Bai Zhanteng. They were the elites of the Battle God Palace, and had also experienced countless battles. But seeing Kin Feng and Kai Yu charge against the heavens, they were still moved. They felt great respect and admiration for the two of them. Heavenly tribulation was the supreme will of the heavens. Not just anyone could simply defy that will and resist the suppression of their souls. A normal person had great reverence for the heavenly Tao's, so they didn't dare to do anything like this. But Kin Feng and Kai Yu were different. They had started undergoing tribulation with Long Chen in the mortal world. Every single time was a fight against the heavens, so they had long since been accustomed to it. Bai Shishi also charged up when she saw the two of them go against the flow. The three of them were attacking the current of lightning, slaughtering those ancient corpses. Many ancient corpses also charged at Long Chen, but before they could even get close, they were devoured by lightning dragons. Ah! Uh, just then, those disciples being protected at the rear began to wake up, screaming in pain. They were bound by lightning chains, and runes were being forcibly merged into their bodies. The pain woke them out of their slumber. As the lightning dragons devoured the ancient corpses, a portion of their lightning runes were sent to these disciples. As a result, their skin split open and veins popped on their foreheads. The pain almost drove them insane. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I can't endure it. Please let me go. I'm going to die. A disciple cried out. It felt like he was going through the worst torture of his life. His physical body and soul were going to be torn apart. Everyone began to wake up and scream as if they had gone crazy. But bound by the chains, they couldn't escape. Don't worry, you won't die. At most, you'll be driven crazy. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Ah, uh, as more lightning runes were injected into their bodies, they were experiencing a hellish torment. That pain was something that they had never imagined before. Boss, I'm not playing any longer. Let me out. Bai Zyol screamed, even crying. He felt like he really would die. However, all their pleas fell on deaf ears. Long Chen continued to look up at the sky. Bai Zyol's mother was also in pain watching this. Bai Zyol's current state was truly miserable. His eyes looked like they were about to pop out, and he was clearly enduring unimaginable pain. Bai Shishi's mother held her hand and comforted, Junior sister, don't worry. Long Chen won't let Zyol be injured. 
in order to transform into a butterfly you must experience the pain of breaking free of the cocoon i know but i can't help feeling aggrieved by Zio's mother shook her head tearfully she understood the principle but that feeling wasn't something others could comprehend bai jantang was clenching his teeth furiously although he had also beaten up bai Zio for his own good at least he had held back the appropriate amount seeing bai Zio in this state it felt like his heart was being cut up bai Zio fainted and woke up from the pain several times the same occurred to others but no matter how they cried out long chen ignored them bai shishi was still capable of enduring up in the sky but kin feng and kai yu were covered in blood it was unknown how many wounds they were covered in these late stage immortal king corpses all had combat experience they were actual experts different from the previous ones despite their wounds the two of them continued to fight that brave and ruthless fighting style of theirs even shook the battle god palace's experts i heard that dean long chen's dragon blood legion has over ten thousand people and these two are only the most ordinary warriors of them i can't imagine what they would be like if dean long chen managed to gather them all up again said one of the battle god palace's experts kin feng and kai yu's display shocked them all the two of them were so powerful to the point that others almost felt like there was no point in living any longer neither of them was particularly talented but they were inexplicably powerful it was like they lived for battle every single one of their moves was executed perfectly without any waste there were countless times when they brushed right up against death but just as it seemed as if there was nothing they could do to get out they slipped right through the danger just watching them fight made others sweat and they felt their hearts clench boom suddenly a chain wrapped around kai yu's waist and pulled him back kai yu's body was covered in wounds he was a mass of bloody flesh but he still shouted boss i can keep fighting no need save a bit of energy to draw the thunder force into your body going too far is as bad as not going far enough said long chen after a bit long chen also dragged in kin feng having them conserve just the slightest bit of energy so that their minds were still clear if they were to draw in the thunder force to temper their bodies themselves it would definitely be much more effective than being forced to have the lightning runes enter their bodies at this moment golden light bloomed out of bai shishi's body her sword kai continued to cut down the ancient corpses also her fear of the ghost dao's aura had faded she was capable of unleashing all her power against them however there were truly too many of them her mental energy was rapidly exhausted and she was down to less than thirty per cent now but she continued to persevere she also knew that this was a rare chance she had to erase her fear of the ghost dao suddenly the tribulation clouds rumbled they began to roil and gather as if some energy was drawing them in Boom. suddenly the ancient corpses fighting her exploded long chen had a bad feeling rise within him lay linger devour all the lightning countless lightning dragons flew into the sky devouring the lightning runes but the ones that weren't devoured flew into the clouds the lightning dragons only managed to absorb half of them before the rest entered the tribulation clouds after that the tribulation clouds quivered and began to pull in on themselves the ten thousand miles of tribulation clouds finally compressed into a humanoid figure that figure's face then gradually grew clearer it's him long chen and bai shishi cried out at the same time that person was holding a sword identical to the one in bai shishi's hand chapter three thousand four hundred fifty to give you a chance this person was the one who long chen had stolen the golden sword from on the ghost ship when he appeared all the heavenly tribulations energy was absorbed by him standing in the air 
he gave off a feeling of looking down on the nine heavens. He seemed to have come back to life. Only now did Long Chen see that he was a terrifying sword cultivator. He had been replicated by the heavenly Daos. A half-step world king, exclaimed by Shishi's mother. His true power is probably even more terrifying than an average world king. Bai Jantang had a grave expression. Wielding his sword, he appeared outside the barrier. This was an absolutely terrifying existence, so he was ready to save Bai Shishi if something happened. Bai Shishi's mother and Bai Zayol's mother, as well as the rest of the battle god palace's experts, also grew serious. At this moment, Bai Shishi's sword quivered and her battle intent sword. Facing this terrifying expert of the ghost Tao, she was fearless. She had conquered her fear of the ghost Tao. When Long Chen appeared in front of Bai Shishi, she immediately said, This is my heavenly tribulation. I will beat him. If you were in your peak condition, I wouldn't stop you. But now your power is less than a third of your peak. You will be at a disadvantage. If you hadn't been undergoing this tribulation with everyone, you would have easily passed your tribulation. Leave this final pass to me. You should save some energy to absorb the final lightning essence, said Long Chen. There was no need to question Bai Shishi's power. But against that terrifying sword Dao expert, in her current state, she would definitely suffer. In truth, Long Chen was also shocked. He almost messed around too much this time. If he hadn't had Lei Linger absorb the lightning runes at the end, this fellow might very likely be in the world, King Realm. Then things would really be out of control. Since Long Chen had said this, Bai Shishi nodded and didn't continue arguing with him. He was correct. She had used up a great deal of power. If she then lost to this expert of the ghost Dao, her new confidence against them might shatter. Long Chen looked at that expert of the ghost Dao, and this expert also looked back at Long Chen. What shocked Long Chen was that he saw light appear in that expert's eyes. Suddenly he spoke. You stole my sword. Everyone, including Long Chen, jumped in shock. Just what was going on? How could a life form replicated by the heavenly Daos have its mind intact? How could he speak? I didn't steal it. I openly snatched it, said Long Chen with a faint smile. He acted calm, but was already tightly clenching his saber hilt. The elder looked at him expressionlessly. Very good. What part is good? Long Chen was startled. Suddenly, he found that his intuition was telling him that this expert wasn't angry at all. Instead, he was pleased. Thank you for helping me find a suitable master for it, said the elder. Both Long Chen and Bai Shishi were stunned. This was completely unexpected. How did you find me? asked the elder. However, now he was speaking spiritually, which further shocked Long Chen. Someone replicated by the heavenly tribulation still possessed their soul. On a ghost ship, Long Chen also replied spiritually. Long Chen described how he had encountered a ghost ship, and what had happened. Ghost Sovereign, you really are sinister. You killed us, and then, trillions of years later, you use our corpses to fight for you. Do you wish for us to slaughter the members of our own race? That expert sorted, his voice filled with hatred. Who is the Ghost Sovereign? asked Long Chen hastily. You will know in the future. Even if you don't find him, he will find you. You set foot on his ghost ship, so you are infected by his karma. Since you have his mark planted on you, you have become his prey. Once you grow up enough, he will find you, said that expert. What will he find me for? Naturally, it is to reap your life. He will take back his mark. The ghost sovereign's mark is firmly embedded within you, nourishing your heart devil. Your heart devil is his ultimate goal. Once your heart devil is strong enough, he will reap his harvest. This fucking ghost sovereign, he views me as a pig. 
I will definitely kill him one day, raged Long Chen. The ghost sovereign is the master of the ghost Tao. In the battle of the nine heavens, he kills countless life forms. His power is not something you can imagine. However, there is also an aura on your body that is different from all other life forms. You are a divergent. All right, then. This final wisp of my ghost soul has actually been grasped by the heavenly downs. I will give you a chance. Oh, suddenly, the elder's body exploded. He transformed into eight golden swords that wrapped around by Shishi. Long Chen didn't stop him. The feeling he got was that this expert was an almighty expert of the human race when he was alive. He shouldn't have any malicious intent toward them. The eight golden swords slowly merged into Bai Shishi's body. After that, Bai Shishi suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Feeling startled, Long Chen hastily pressed a hand against her forehead. His vast spiritual strength poured into her. These eight golden swords were actually eight runes containing endless information. They merged with Bai Shishi, instantly exhausting all of her spiritual strength. Long Chen was helping her keep up. Bai Shishi's spiritual strength was very powerful, but unexpectedly, it was used up even before these runes were done being absorbed. Long Chen's spiritual strength then slowly entered her body, helping her absorb them. Long Chen could sense a huge amount of information entering her soul. Although he didn't know what this information was, his guess was that it was the life's learning of that expert. Almost half of Long Chen's vast spiritual strength was used up before Bai Shishi finished merging with those runes. Furthermore, at this moment, the tribulation clouds were gone. The devils in the distance then roared and charged back. Long Chen ignored them and returned to the academy with everyone. Other than Long Chen, everyone else was unconscious. When the master of the golden sword exploded, other than the eight golden runes, a huge amount of thunder force was unleashed. Lei Linger naturally didn't waste it. It was the final lightning essence, and it was also the strongest part. Lei Linger had absorbed it all and injected a portion into the disciples. As a result, everyone's body was on the verge of collapse. According to Long Chen's instructions, Lei Linger perfectly gave them their max limit of thunder force. Any bit more and they really would die. Once they were back in the academy, countless devils attacked the barrier. Long Chen eyed them with an evil smile. Just wait to be turned into practice partners. Chapter 3453, an existence more terrifying than the ghost sovereign, the ghost sovereign. Why are you asking about him? Asked the sweeping elder putting down his broom and looking at Long Chen. Long Chen didn't conceal anything. He told the elder about what had happened in the heavenly tribulation as well as what had happened on the ghost ship. The elder sank into thought. He said, the ghost sovereign is the master of the ghost Tao. He controls all the lives of the ghost Tao and is also the strongest existence of the ghost Tao. His origins have always been a mystery. Some people say that he is a life form from the primal chaos era who cultivated step, I step, to become the master of the ghost Tao. Some say that he is the conglomerated resentment from life forms dying over trillions of years. He has longevity as long as heaven and earth, undying and indestructible. Long Chen jumped in shock. This was Long Chen's first time hearing of such a terrifying existence. Someone from the primal chaos era? Undying and indestructible. Why would such a terrifying existence place a mark on me? Asked Long Chen. Because he previously encountered an existence even more terrifying than himself. In that battle, his physical body and soul were destroyed. Even as an undying, indestructible existence, he was badly wounded. For him to recover faster, his subordinates secretly pick out some powerful geniuses and place ghost sovereign marks on them. Once they grow up to a certain extent, 
they are devoured by their heart devils and become puppets of the ghost sovereign they then return to the ghost world and become a part of the ghost sovereign's body however you are different other people have marks placed on them but you were infected by karma which transformed into the ghost sovereign's mark replied the elder his body and soul were destroyed by an existence even more terrifying than him asked long chen feeling shocked what kind of existence could defeat the master of the ghost dao you are so smart you should be able to guess said the elder with a smile long chen suddenly thought of it and held his breath could it be this thing called karma can truly be marvelous sometimes no one can say anything for sure about it although the ghost sovereign is said to possess an undying body there are no absolutes back then if the nine star master had possessed a primal chaos item the ghost sovereign would have been wiped out of existence within the nine heavens and ten lands the only thing capable of killing him is the most primordial primal chaos energy of primal chaos divine items the nine star master wounded him and ever since then he hadn't made a sound but you a nine star heir ran into a ghost ship with his spiritual mark on it resulting in a ghost sovereign mark condensing on you but you don't need to worry before reaching the world king realm he won't be able to notice you there are truly many ghost sovereign marks unless he pulls in the net you will be safe said the elder only then did long chen learn just how terrifying in existence the master of the nine star hegemon body art was even the master of the ghost dao was slain by him long chen was unable to calm himself down for a long time senior if the nine star master was so powerful why did he die asked long chen that is something that you nine star heirs must comprehend on your own all i can tell you is that the most dangerous existence in the world is the human heart the elder picked up his broom and continued sweeping long chen knew that the elder was done talking clearly he still knew a great deal but was only able to say so much after cultivating to this point long chen knew just how terrifying the thing called karma was everyone had to be cautious about it if their mouths had no filter it was all too easy to harm others even supreme experts had to be careful about it only through this talk with the elder did long chen learn just how big this world was and just how terrifying it was however he was also uneasy the nine star master was almost capable of ending the ghost sovereign but his cultivation technique had now been changed by him and his progress was slow still he could only rely on himself to bring it forward there was no way to describe just how much pressure he was under now at the same time the little bits of information in his mind combined with the tiny clues he had gathered told him that his future path would not be an easy one however this immense pressure also stimulated him he felt a powerful drive born as an ant longing to be a swan one's life is as thin as paper but one should not yield my life will be controlled by me i will walk my own path long chen clenched his fists he knew that he had been drawn into an unimaginable vortex he was currently getting closer and closer to the heart of that vortex he still had time to get stronger so he would accumulate more trump cards to face the challenges of the future back in the seventh branch academy other than by shishi everyone else was in slumber meanwhile the elders of the academy were busy at work constantly feeding the unconscious disciples medicine to nourish their souls Navalun, how many people had been pushed to the very limit of their physical bodies although it was still within the limit of their physical bodies their souls had not been able to endure that pain and there were signs that some might grow insane fortunately the soul calming elixir could nourish their souls while they slept those elders also used soul arts to let them enter the land of dreams calming their souls to avoid a heart devil appearing as for long chen 
he returned to his room and then took out a five-colored seed of the devil i water lily this was a fourth-tier devil i water lily one that was in the same realm as him taking out the pill furnace he carefully refined the seed into medicinal powder however he didn't use the demon moon furnace instead he used the moon and star refining furnace because it had more experience with refining pills it was more reliable and had a lower chance of failure this time he was going to refine the violet tower pills just the cost of the ingredients was enough to buy a whole city there were certain ingredients that came from demonic beasts spirit beasts and other non-plant ingredients that he couldn't grow thus he couldn't waste any attempts at refining them like before eye of the devil dragon fang of the blood bat gall of the deep sea serpent essence blood of the violet sable one medicinal ingredient after another was refined into powder long chen was completely focused not daring to be the slightest bit careless just purifying the medicinal ingredients took a full day due to his intense concentration he rested for two hours before starting to refine the pill the five-colored powder of the devil i water lily seed was the first to enter the pill furnace it was the main ingredient all other ingredients were controlled by it when the flame ignited one powder after another entered a rainbow mist then appeared within the pill furnace at the same time the runes on the pill furnace automatically lit up what terrifying power the pill furnace's self-preservation runes have been forced to activate long chen's heart shook the pill furnace had actually reacted to the refinement and automatically activated its defenses the rainbow light began to grow turbulent as more medicinal powders entered it began to crash against the pill furnace fortunately this was no ordinary pill furnace but a danite furnace if it was the old king item pill furnace long chen might have needed to give up this was only the start but it was already causing such a phenomenon if the pill furnace wasn't strong enough it would not be able to endure close to a thousand ingredients entered the pill furnace and five colored light shone brightly it created a current that crashed against the pill furnace like a surging dragon now i have something to play with sensing that immense power in the pill furnace at the same time as he tensed up long chen also grew increasingly excited chapter three thousand four hundred fifty four powerful violet tower pill all the pill furnaces runes lit up five colored light surged within the pill furnace crashing against the pill furnace like wild beasts trying to break free good thing i got a new pill furnace that old pill furnace would have broken from this power long chen's heart gradually relaxed when he saw that the moon and star refining furnace was able to endure this onslaught long chen wiped off some sweat from his forehead his nerves were tense as he was using up a vast amount of spiritual strength in the past when he refined pills it was usually based on spiritual plants those pills possess gentle and mild natures however the violet tower pill was refined from many ingredients that came from beasts that made the pill's nature particularly violent it was like countless beasts were fighting within the pill furnace the violet tower pill's quality was increased when the power of the ingredients was stimulated so all of this violence was helping to draw out the potential of the ingredients if instead this nature was forcibly erased most of the medicinal nature would fade away as well thus letting them fight and clash against each other was the best method that violent nature would slowly be worn down roars rang out from within the pill furnace and countless powers were clashing against each other none capable of subduing the others at first there were countless powers crazily fighting within the five colored light but as time passed the battle grew more and more intense and some powers gradually seemed to subdue and devour the others after a while 
five streams of power remained, crazily fighting each other. After another instant's sticks worth of time, the five powers merged into one. When those five powers merged, they formed an immense force that crashed against the pill furnace. Long Chen pressed his hand against the lid, afraid that they would charge out and ruin all his efforts. The immense force was making his arm numb. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked inside. The impact of this medicinal pill was almost equivalent to a full-power late-stage Divine Lord's attack. There were nine impacts in total. The ninth time in the end caused the whole room to quiver. Long Chen almost couldn't hold it. After the ninth impact, the pill furnace finally became calm. Long Chen then carefully opened the lid. But all of a sudden, nine rays of light shot at Long Chen's eyes. The sensation of mortal danger made Long Chen instinctively take out his saber. Oh! The nine divine lights shattered. Fuck! Long Chen cursed furiously. Shattered remains of medicinal pills lay on the ground. He had just refined a good furnace of pills only to destroy them with his saber in the next moment. Everything was for nothing. His face was dark with anger. Just now, in his excitement, he had made a grievous mistake. He had forgotten that the higher the tier of a pill, the greater its spirituality. Unwilling to be trapped, those higher tier pills would directly kill the alchemist and flee. This was something that he had often seen in the later stages of the mortal world. However, in the immortal world, due to there being different laws, he had not refined any pills that possessed their own spirits, causing him to forget about this matter. Unexpectedly, the Violet Tower pill had its own spirit and even tried to kill him. Long Chen instinctively counterattacked, destroying them by accident. Most infuriating of all, he hadn't even gotten a look at what the pills looked like. He angrily plopped himself on the ground. After two hours, he finally settled his emotions and started on the next furnace of pills. The second refinement went much smoother than the last. Long Chen had the experience, and the moon and star refining furnace was also prepared. While working together, everything went very smoothly. The second furnace of pills quickly formed. This time, he was prepared, and when the pills came flying out, he unleashed a punch. The divine light shattered, and blood dripped down Long Chen's fist. The attack power of these medicinal pills was truly powerful. That was naturally why when they attacked last time, he instinctively counterattacked without holding back. This time, after the divine light was shattered, the nine pills were not damaged. They floated in the air just like that. The pills sparkled brightly with divine light flowing within them. At the core of every pill was a blooming lily. The lily had some tiny spots. When Long Chen's mind entered those spots, he found himself in a different world. This world was a lily flower with violet kai swirling on top of it. Immortal mist rose out of the ground, and fierce beasts were roaming around the land. They were the beasts whose ingredients were part of the pill formula. However, compared to the giant lily, they were minute. They lived in this world. Long Chen even saw two of the beasts fighting each other. One flower, one world. Long Chen sighed in amazement. The violet tower pill was truly terrifying. It seemed to contain boundless power. Furthermore, that violet immortal mist seemed to the purest, most primeval immortal Kai of the world. They are all top-grade treasure pills. Perhaps it's due to the tears of the ingredients being so high. Originally, Long Chen had felt that refining top-grade spirit pills would be something to celebrate. He hadn't expected the first furnace of pills to all be top-grade treasure pills. Upon thinking about it carefully, this was the result of the quality of the ingredients, the refining technique, and the power of the pill furnace combined. That was what resulted in such a shocking outcome. Long Chen looked at the Violet Tower pills adoringly. This was his first time seeing such a beautiful pill. 
every pill seemed to contain its own world it was a beautiful feeling however long chen didn't immediately devour them he first sent them into the primal chaos space for Lei linger to use her thunder force to nourish them turning them into tribulation pills that way they could unleash their maximum potential refining a single furnace of violet tower pills was truly taxing furthermore the medicinal ingredients that didn't come from plants couldn't be reproduced limitlessly by the primal chaos space every bit that he used was gone who knew when jeng wenlong would be able to gather more long chen had to be meticulous with these ingredients he couldn't entirely depend on others long chen spent days refining the violet tower pills working seven consecutive days and nights although he did rest in between he was still weary but in these seven days he had refined a thousand violet tower pills he then gave them to lay linger to nourish only once they successfully became tribulation pills would he consume them after that long chen returned to his residence and fell asleep this one nap lasted three days refining the violet tower pills was just too exhausting he only restored his mental energy after three days of sleeping it had been a full ten days since the tribulation although there were still devils assaulting them the academy had plenty of provisions everyone was able to sleep peacefully during this time the battle god palace's experts actually went out once to gather the devil crystals from the devils that were killed by the grand formation furthermore long chen was very magnanimous directly saying that those devil cores went to whoever found them and that there was no need to pay the academy hence these experts all felt him to be the very picture of generosity letting them make no small sum so easily when long chen asked about the disciples he was told that the majority were still sleeping long chen couldn't help frowning had he gone a bit too far this time they still hadn't woken up even after all this time long chen suddenly bai shishi appeared when long chen saw her current state he jumped in shock chapter three thousand four hundred fifty five bai shishi's love the current bai shishi seemed to be an entirely different person her gaze was so sharp it seemed that it could pierce a person's soul moreover there were countless runes revolving and evolving within her eyes it was like the workings of a field of stars there seemed to be endless power hidden within her body and even long chen felt immense pressure when he looked at her you really merged with that person's inheritance asked long chen in shock bai shi she shook her head only some of the superficial information so far his tao is too profound and i cannot comprehend them in this realm thus ninety-nine per cent of the divine runes are sealed in my soul and i am working to comprehend them amazing just comprehending some superficial information is enough to completely transform you once you comprehend it all won't you be unrivaled long chen was delighted bai shi shi smiled long chen it really is all thanks to you i would have never encountered such an opportunity if it hadn't been for you i suspect that this senior was a terrifying divine venery back when he was alive obtaining his inheritance is enough to change my entire life long chen was stunned by that by she she had obtained that person's inheritance so she should have a certain understanding of him she wouldn't blindly guess such a thing if she said that he was a divine venerate then he probably had reached that realm that divine venerate had actually died to the ghost sovereign the ghost sovereign had then placed his corpse on the ghost ship clearly the ghost sovereign was planning on using him again it really was just as he said the ghost sovereign wouldn't let him off even in death not only that but this divine venerate didn't seem to hold much resentment at being killed by the ghost sovereign that would imply that he was fully convinced of his defeat even a powerful divine venerate like him was slain by the ghost sovereign from this 
it could be seen just how terrifying of an existence the latter was. However, even then, he was almost wiped out of existence by the Nine Star Master. So just how powerful was the Nine Star Master? If the Nine Star Master was so powerful, why had he died? In the end, he transformed into countless seeds of vengeance. Just who was the target of that vengeance? Seeing Long Chen's bewildered expression, Bai Shishi looked around. Since there was no one else around, she blushed and grabbed his hands. She softly said, Don't worry, even if my power surpasses yours, I'll do my best to listen to you. Bai Shishi's voice was very quiet. A very rare expression appeared on her face, one that truly shook his heart. He was enraptured by her beauty. Seeing Long Chen foolishly staring at her, Bai Shishi blushed even more. But she still held his hands. It was only after a long moment that Long Chen recovered. Bai Shishi was a peerless beauty, but she was even more moving like this. If before this she was a fairy untouched by the mortal world, now she was like a fairy that had fallen into the mortal world. A bit of that immortal aura was replaced with mortal air. It was that trace of mortal air that made Long Chen feel like she was more real. He could also clearly sense her inner heart. Do your best. You mean that you might not listen? At that time, I won't be able to beat you, so won't I be suppressed by you every single day? Will you be like your mother that day and put your father in his place, but instead it's me? Asked Long Chen with a smile. Bai Shishi hastily explained, I definitely won't beat you. I said I'd do my best because if you make the wrong decision, I naturally have the right to disagree. As expected, it was still that same character. It seemed that she was always leaving herself a way out. Long Chen bitterly smiled inside. Putting it frankly, it didn't matter how grateful she was to him. She definitely wouldn't blindly follow him. Cough, cough. Just then, Kin Fang and Kai Yu came over and saw the two of them holding hands. Theoretically, they should leave at this moment. However, if they just left like this, it would be too obvious, so they lowered their heads and coughed as if they hadn't seen anything. Bai Shishi hastily pulled her hands away, her face burning. She then turned around. Oh, boss, alliance head Shishi, what a coincidence. You're here. Kin Feng raised his head and acted like he had just seen them. Although everyone knew it was an act, at least it wouldn't further embarrass Bai Shishi. Sometimes a loincloth was very interesting. It was a bit comical, but there was a big difference between wearing it and not wearing it. No matter how strong a person was, they needed it. Not bad. The lightning has tempered your bodies. Your physical bodies are more than ten times stronger than before. Long Chen sensed the surging blood kai within their bodies and nodded. This time, the results were even a bit better than he had expected. Perhaps it was due to the final compression of the heavenly tribulation, forming that elder. The lightning contained that elder's soul energy. It was then absorbed by Lei Linger and injected into their bodies causing even their souls to strengthen. Their four peaks were the flesh, bone, kai, and blood. To put it frankly, they simply raised the power of their physical bodies as high as possible because of their fighting styles. A powerful physical body was their foundation. However, this time, due to the elder, it was just their physical bodies that were strengthened to the maximum. Their spiritual strength had also increased. A powerful spiritual strength increased the sharpness of their senses and gave them more precise control over their techniques. They had all benefited from Bai Shishi, and not just a little bit. It could be said that the two of them had greatly profited. The two of you aren't getting any younger. Have you not found any ladies that attract your eyes? I Heaven Female Alliance has countless beauties. Are you acting aloof, or do you feel that they aren't a match for you? Asked Bai Shishi, recovering her normal indifference. Long Chen was speechless. 
It seemed that Baishishi didn't want to be embarrassed by herself and wanted the two of them to find companions as well. If it was just Kin Feng, then fine. But Kai, you already had someone. Kin Feng smiled. We are just ordinary dragon blood warriors. There are the squad leaders above us and then the captains above them. Even the captains haven't found any partners. How can we be qualified? When the captains drank together, they told us that unless they had power like bosses, they wouldn't be qualified to find partners. Without enough power, they can't even protect themselves, let alone their loved ones. Even someone as powerful as Boss could only watch as Kin Feng. Kai Yu suddenly glared at Kin Feng, causing him to apologetically look at Long Chen. Sorry, Boss. He was about to say that even someone as powerful as Long Chen had not been able to protect the Pill Fairy back then. How could they be qualified to find a companion for themselves? He had inadvertently touched upon Long Chen's scar. Long Chen smiled slightly and indicated that it was fine. Bai Shishi knew of his relationship with the Pill Fairy. It seemed that they were using him as a model and didn't want to experience the same pain. It's fine. Tell your Heaven Female Alliance's beauties to just wait. Once our boss rules the world, our Dragon Blood Legion will warmly welcome all your people, laughed Kin Feng. A nice thought. Bai Shishi knew that Kin Feng was just joking around, so just as he wished, she closed this topic of discussion. Boss, we came to find you because we want to exercise our bones, said Kin Feng seriously. The just pay attention to the devil I water lily race and you will be fine, said Long Chen. He knew their power and their characters, and they wouldn't mess around. They simply wanted to use battles to solidify their realms and get used to their new power. With Long Chen's ascent, the two of them happily ran off. Once they were gone, Long Chen said, let's go take a look at Xiaol and the others. Chapter 3456 Zhu Zixian's Barbarian Blood Power of Everyone That Had Undergone Tribulation Only by Shishi, Kin Feng, and Kai Yu were awake. The others were still asleep. They had severely overdrafted themselves. Fortunately, Kin Feng and Kai Yu were dragon blood warriors with strong bases and firm wills, so they woke up sooner than the others. However, for the others, those ancient corpses had brought fear, and then the pain of the forced lightning tempering had also injured their minds. They needed to rest longer. After all, not every person was like the dragon blood warriors and had experienced so many trials and torments, creating a will as firm as a boulder. Marshal Uncle. When Long Chen entered the training hall, the first person he saw was Liuo Chengwu going through the disciples, checking on them one by one. Liuo Chengwu had stayed here this whole time. Long Chen had already told everyone to respect him and view him as another member of the Seventh Branch Academy. They couldn't neglect him. Thus, Liuo Chengwu had almost absolute authority to come and go around. However, he had remained here this entire time. Every day, Every few hours, he would investigate the bodies of the Liuo family's disciples. Every single time he did so, his emotions would stir and wouldn't settle for a long time. This time, these children had truly transformed because of this tribulation. Every single one of them had managed to awaken their ancestral bloodline under the pressure of death, which meant their potential had been excavated to the limit. If he hadn't personally witnessed it, he still wouldn't believe it. Even now, he felt like he was dreaming. He was afraid that he would wake up and everything would return to as it was before the tribulation. When Long Chen arrived, Liuo Chang hastily rose, but Long Chen pressed him down and sat beside him. Marshal Uncle, it seems that you don't trust me, said Long Chen, seeing the lines of blood in Liuo Changwu's eyes. He was clearly worried and anxious. How can you say that? 
Is this not because I'm worried that this group of disappointing children won't be able to endure? Liu Chengwu laughed awkwardly. He truly was worried. These disciples had their minds and spirits in chaos after the tribulation. Moreover, the flames of their souls had almost been extinguished. In other words, they were only the slightest bit more alive than dead people. Compared to other families, the Liuo family cared more about every member of their family. It wasn't simply caring more about those with the most talent. Every descendant was like their own child, and they had to be cherished. Thus, seeing all these children in this half-dead state, as the head of the family, he was naturally worried. But as time passed and they recovered, he stopped worrying. After the worry came excitement. Every time he checked, he found that these children's bodies had strengthened a bit. After the storm of worry came joy. Even as an immortal king, these tumultuous emotions were difficult to endure. That was why Liu Chengwu seemed so weary. I already told you. The academy's elders are here, so there's no need for you to worry, said Long Chen. I know that the elders are trustworthy. But how can I leave my family's disciples for others to look after? said Liuo Changwu. This was the most exciting time of his life. Enduring through this was the least he could do. Long Chen then looked toward the distant Bai Ziol, whose face was pale white. He had clearly overdrafted his soul greatly. After all, his physical body wasn't strong, so the lightning tempering was many times more painful for him than others. When Long Chen checked on him, he saw that his physical body had fully recovered. Only his soul was still badly damaged. According to the elder beside him, Bai Zhantang and his two wives had just left. Bai Ziol's mother wanted to help Bai Ziol recover, but was stopped by Bai Zhantang. Unable to endure seeing her son in this state while she was powerless to help, she then left. Long Chen nodded. Bai Ziol needed to recover on his own because external forces would spoil his current condition. Even the gentlest energy could have an influence. However, Bai Ziol was indeed in a dangerous state. His soul was on the verge of collapse. Thus, his soul and will had to struggle, drawing out all their power to protect their master from dying. If someone were to help by Ziol in this state, it would be like throwing him a life jacket. He would quickly pass through this moment. However, that would cause him to lose out on this tempering opportunity. Long Chen hoped for by Ziol to create a life jacket for himself without anyone saving him. What was important wasn't the life jacket, but the ability to create one. Long Chen then fed by Ziol a medicinal pill. This pill guaranteed that the flame of his soul wouldn't extinguish, but it was only a final barrier. If he wanted to wake up, he would need to rely on himself. If within ten days he still didn't awaken, then someone would be forced to intervene to wake him up. Otherwise, he really would die. Boss, just then, Zhu Zixin woke up. After waking up, he felt full of energy, and his mind and body were in top condition. In fact, it felt like he had so much power that he would explode. His current state made everyone jump. Zhu Zixin's aura was even more terrifying than Kin Feng and Caillou's now. This was completely unexpected to everyone. Barbarian blood energy. Long Chen was also surprised. Long Chen sensed an aura that was somewhat similar to Wilder's from Zhu Zixin. This was the aura of the barbarian race. He hadn't expected this tribulation to cause Zhu Zixin's barbarian blood to show signs of returning to its ancestral state. The barbarian race was a species from the primal chaos era. Legend had it that despite appearing similar to the human race, they were not the same. The barbarian race didn't cultivate divine abilities. In this case, they were a bit similar to the demonic beast race, relying on bloodline inheritances. However, their power was such that they shook the ten thousand races. Legend had it that in the primal chaos era, 
the giant barbarian race could move mountains and overturn seas with a wave of their hands even dragons and phoenixes were their food although zu zixing had a trace of barbarian blood it was so diluted that it was almost gone it was like a candle about to extinguish however after this tribulation the candle was revitalized moreover it was no longer a candle but a prairie fire this was something that long chen hadn't anticipated long chen then pressed a hand against zu zixin's shoulder his vast energy erupted in an instant as a result zu zixin was caught off guard and coughed up blood by shi shi yuo chang wu and the other elders present jumped in shock not knowing what was going on zu zixin's head buzzed the threat of death instantly activated all the power within him zu zixin's body quivered and countless runes on it lit up following that his body began to grow it was like a wild beast was awakening within his body his power crazily climbed remember this state and this feeling this is called the barbarian blood battle body starting today it is your strongest move long chen pressed down once more on zu zixin and smiled he had misjudged this fellow his potential was truly not bad at this moment a new fierce general had appeared in the dragon blood legion chapter three thousand four hundred fifty seven d c fiend devils long chen then checked on the conditions of the others there were no problems Lei Linger had grown increasingly strong and was able to accurately deduce every person's potential. She had forced them as close to their limits as possible, but didn't exceed the limits. In particular, that final explosion of the Master of the Golden Sword resulted in his remaining spiritual strength being spread throughout the lightning runes. A portion was absorbed by Bai Shishi while the disciples were only able to absorb a very small portion. The rest was digested by Lei Linger. Lei Linger had started to transform after absorbing this spiritual strength. Most shocking of all, she had also peered into the runes that had merged into Bai Shishi. As Bai Shishi digested those runes, Lei Linger also digested them. She was in a state of slumber right now, focusing on digesting those runes only a portion of her power was helping long chen temper the medicinal pills long chen knew that once lei linger came out of seclusion again she would definitely have gone through a shocking transformation everyone was fine based on long chen's estimate they should all wake up within five to six days long chen told Liu chen Wu not to worry after checking on them Long Chen continued refining pills. Bai Shishi and Zhu Zixin joined Qin Feng and Kai Yu, attacking the devils outside the barrier to get accustomed to their new power. With Bai Shishi present, even if a world king devil were to appear, they wouldn't need to worry. Long Chen wasn't worried about them at all. Long Chen then spent another week refining Violet Tower pills and slept another three days. Once he woke up, he went to find Bai Ziol, just in time to see him with his mother, getting accustomed to his new power. When Bai Ziol saw Long Chen, he shouted excitedly. After waking up, his three flower pupils had become multicolored. As it turned out, those with the three flower pupils' bloodline saw the world in only black and white. Only once the three flower pupils had evolved to a higher level could they see color. Hence, this was Bai Ziol's first time seeing a world of beautiful colors. He was so happy that he wept. Bai Ziol's mother was also crying. Bai Ziol had had an innate deficiency. She had thought that he would never be able to awaken the colored three flower pupils. Now that they had awakened, she was even more emotional than by Ziol. Those eyes are really beautiful. Ziol, you're growing more handsome, praised Long Chen. The light in his eyes seemed to have heavenly Tao energy flowing within it. By Ziol's talent was truly enviable. By Ziol was even more excited at obtaining Long Chen's praise. 
he felt like his whole body was full of power his body was originally weak but after the baptism of the heavenly tribulation it was dozens of times stronger although it still only counted as average amongst ordinary disciples to an eye cultivator that was already very impressive a powerful physical body made his movements more agile and he could form hand seals faster he would also be able to avoid his enemies as he used his pupil arts making things much safer for him when baizio learned that the others had awakened and already entered the battlefield his hands instantly got itchy he wanted to fight as well however both long chen and his mother told him no long chen said you are different you severely overdrafted your soul although you've recovered your spiritual strength is still in a weak state i cultivators could be considered a type of soul cultivators Baizyol's soul was so badly damaged this time that although he had recovered and his spiritual strength was exceptionally powerful now it would be wise not to use his spiritual strength during this time for the best results he should wait until his spiritual strength reached max power perhaps baizyol wouldn't listen to his mother but he didn't dare to disobey long chen he ran over just to cheer on the bai shishi and the others now long chen arrived at the plaza and saw mountains of corpses piled up outside the barrier the academy was almost buried in corpses as the disciples came out of seclusion they all felt like they had inexhaustible energy then seeing an endless supply of devils to fight they used them as training partners slaughtering them all of them were full of inexhaustible energy and they crazily slaughtered those devils when they saw that they could easily kill those devils that had once filled them with fear they were delighted it almost drove them crazy and they could barely contain their excitement if they did get tired from the training they would return to the academy and rest for an hour or two before going back out again they used this fighting to solidify their realms and get accustomed to their new power they were experiencing just how much they had progressed it felt like they had completely transformed this was a new era for them all the experts of the academy were watching when they saw these disciples descend like a flock of wolves on these devils they couldn't help sighing once these disciples grew up they would truly be amazing having just advanced to the divine lord realm they already possess the power to fight mortal tear a mortal king devils that kind of combat power was astonishing if it was just one or two people with that power it wouldn't be strange but for over ten thousand of them disciples who were originally merely primals without any shocking bloodlines or inheritances to suddenly become such peerless heavenly geniuses completely toppled their understanding seeing these fearless unmatched disciples of the yuo family the yuo changwu's eyes reddened if only his big brother and the rest of the seniors of the yuo family were here they could celebrate together in the distance they could see flashes of golden light wherever that golden light appeared it created a line of death those devils were blasted out of existence they were unable to even see by shishi's figure they merely saw flashes of light and splashes of blood her golden sword was unstoppable even the battle god palace's immortal kings were stunned by shishi's mother watched proudly after this tribulation by shishi would soar to the heavens long chen went out of the barrier too everyone thought that his hands had gotten itchy as well however they saw him simply wave his hand and gather the mountains of corpses piled up around the academy in just a few breaths time the ground was cleared a waterfall of devil crystals came pouring out forming a large hill the devil crystals were the size of a baby's fist just seeing so many of them at once dazzled people the academy had elders taking inventory of them that was money and no small sum at that if this continues the seventh branch academy won't be hurt at all instead they'll profit 
they are basically sending us money, said by Shishi's mother with a smile. With Long Chen present, they didn't need to work to clean up the battlefield. All the devil crystals were instantly taken out. These devil crystals were valued at around a hundred thousand immortal king crystals. Counting how many immortal king crystals they had used up so far, they had essentially made up for their costs. If they continued killing, it would be profitable. It truly was a hell of a battle of attrition. Suddenly, the void rumbled and mists covered the battlefield. After that, a terrible stench assaulted their noses. In the distance, countless large beasts came charging over to the academy. Chapter 3458, Who Runs Out of Patience First That Aro Was That of the Devil Sea? They were sea demons from the depths of the sea, but they didn't possess the aura of demonic beasts. Instead, they possessed Devil Kai. These deep-sea fiend devils that appeared were at least in the early stage immortal king realm. But there were some strong ones that had reached the half-step world king level. An ominous and frightening aura struck the disciples in the face when they appeared. At this moment, a heaven-shaking roar rang out from a half-step world king drake. It was like an order, and following its roar, countless deep-sea fiend devils charged at the Seventh Branch Academy. Those devil experts that came from the devil world didn't clash with them. They intentionally opened up a path for them to attack the academy. As expected, it really is just like the dean said. The attack on the main academy is nothing more than a front. Their real goal is the seventh branch academy. Long Chen sneered with contempt. These deep-sea fiend devils were only putting on an act in the heavenly swell domain. The main force was here. However, this place was quite some distance away from the Devil's Sea, and these fiend devils were greatly weakened once they left the Devil's Sea. Were they coming just to give Long Chen money? Their devil crystals and devil cores were all treasures. The devil cores in particular were very valuable. Were they worried that the Seventh Branch Academy was lacking money? Bai Shishi immediately shot toward them. With a slash of her sword, golden light lit up, and that roaring drake was cut in two. Even a half-step world king deep-sea fiend devil was unable to stop a single strike from that sword. Previously, although the golden sword had recognized by Shishi as master, by Shishi had not been able to unleash its true power. But after obtaining the inheritance of its old master, she was finally able to activate the golden sword's runes. But Drake's scales gave it a defensive power comparable to a king item, but the scales were still unable to stop this sword. The golden sword light was incomparably sharp. The waves it unleashed cut through these giant deep sea fiend devils, like they were radishes. One with her sword, by Shishi slaughtered those devils until she gradually started to push them further and further away from the academy. Don't go too far. They have experts keeping an eye that far out, so your current position is the limit. Don't go any further. But you also don't need to be in a rush to come back. Just keep killing them like this, slowly retreating. Don't let them see through you. Just then, Long Chen's voice rang out in Bai Shishi's ear. Bai Shishi was startled. She didn't sense anyone watching her, but she trusted Long Chen. Just at that moment, a half-step world king fiend devil sneak attacked her, causing her to be forced back slightly. She then continued killing the devils around that area. Long Chen smiled slightly. When this girl actually listened, she was very likable. Seeing Long Chen's smile, she replied with her own smile. But when she saw her mother staring at her with a certain expression, she turned red and instantly turned her face away, ignoring Long Chen and the others to kill the fiend devils. Bai Shishi was the main force on the battlefield now. Whatever area was struggling, she would charge over. This battle continued for ten days and nights just like that, but she wasn't the slightest bit tired. Clearly, a battle on this level was not extraneous enough for her. 
she could replenish whatever energy she used other than by shishi every one else needed to occasionally return and rest a bit any time they dropped down to just fifty per cent of their spiritual yuin they took a break otherwise they would be in trouble if they encountered danger kin feng and kai yu took three breaks during these ten days the rest of the time was spent on the battlefield as they were in charge of the tempo of the battlefield only once things started growing out of control would they have bai shishi come help however unexpectedly zhu zixin would fight for three hours and then immediately return for a break his power was astonishing every blow shattered the void but after only a bit he would run out of energy and return boss is there something wrong with me i don't have any endurance any more zhu zixin eventually went to ask long chen about this he was panting and he sat on the ground soaked in sweat he seemed to be on the verge of collapse this time in particular he had only been able to fight for an hour before running out of energy and returning although his newfound power was delightful the lack of endurance made it hard for him to be happy about it long chen checked his body his blood kai was still thrumming powerfully so there was no problem such a situation should not occur no it had to be known that zhu zixin was not even fighting with the barbarian blood battle body yet it shouldn't be this exhausting long chen suddenly had a thought and pulled in a giant eight clawed fish monster flames flew out of his hand instantly cooking the fish after that a fragrant smell came out saliva instantly gushed out of zhu zixin's mouth he couldn't even stop it you didn't eat any meat try eating some meat this time zhu zixin instantly latched onto the fish as expected after eating just a few mouthfuls he was no longer so exhausted long chen found the problem with the awakening of his barbarian blood zhu zixin could not walk his original cultivation path just like wilder he needed to eat meat just now it wasn't that he was out of energy but that he was exhausted from starvation zhu zixin had always been cultivating according to the human racy standards he relied on absorbing spiritual kai and rarely ate anything so the sensation of hunger had already been forgotten now that he ate something he knew that it wasn't that he was out of energy he was simply starving long chen then took out a copper furnace this was a fire attribute weapon and wasn't a pill furnace long chen gave it to zhu zixin he taught zhu zixin how to use it to cook these sea demons when their corpses were drawn inside they would be quickly cooked and stored so that he could conveniently eat them to replenish his energy after just a bit zhu zixin felt like he was full of power with long chen's copper furnace he shot through the battlefield gathering the corpses of the more powerful sea demons as his food now that he wasn't hungry any more he was like an entirely different person with three strikes of his rod a half-step world king tortoise had its shell broken that fierceness made long chen think of wilder wilder was a pure-blooded member of the barbarian race his energy was replenished by eating food not a mortal spiritual kai but his power was definitely the most terrifying of all the life forms that long chen had ever seen i wonder how that foolish brother of mine is doing long chen sighed this foolish brother of his could easily be conned and tricked by others wilda was just different zhu zixin didn't have wilda's digestive abilities and couldn't devour those sea demons in giant quantities so he ate much slower time passed and mountains of corpses piled up once more just as they seemed like they would drown the academy long chen cleaned up the battlefield again the corpses were then tossed into the primal chaos space and lay linger transformed into millions of knives that cut open the corpses taking out their devil cores and devil crystals as a result another small mountain of devil crystals and devil cores fell 
to the ground. Long Chen looked into the distance and sneered. Let's see who runs out of patience first. Chapter 3459 Major Bad Turn of Events Long Chen, what are you waiting for? Asked Bai Shishi's mother. This was something that Bai Zhanteng had wanted to ask for a long time, but he was unable to lower himself to do so. He had already received orders to listen to Long Chen, and he could not argue. Hence, they had passed through these days like fools. Bai Zhanteng was already getting a bit irritated at just sitting around, but he also wasn't allowed to leave. He could only watch as his precious daughter made eyes at Long Chen, making him feel extremely out of sorts. Bai Shishi's mother knew what he was thinking, so she came to ask Long Chen this question for her husband. Long Chen nodded. Someone is watching us. Like leopards in the shadows, they are preparing to unleash a mortal blow. Can you see them? Bai Shishi's mother was surprised. Long Chen was looking in a certain direction. It had to be known that the High Firmament Academy's formation was capable of overlooking the majority of the vile dragon domain. If anyone was spying on them, they should have long since noticed them. I can't see them, but I can smell their scent. They really do view me as a child. How could I fall for the same ploy twice? Sneered Long Chen. He didn't say much. He was very familiar with Imputa's aura, so he could feel that this damn fatty was keeping an eye on him. Imputa was waiting for Long Chen to reveal an opening. At first, Long Chen only had a vague feeling, but the moment Bai Shishi charged out, that feeling became clear. In other words, when Bai Shishi charged out, the other side prepared to make their move. Furthermore, the place that Bai Shishi had charged to was on the edge of the formation's attack range. Once she passed that area, the formation's attack power would drop. Thus, it was very simple for Long Chen to deduce the other side's intentions and range. After all, Long Chen was willing to just continue grinding away like this. Just who would lose their patience first? Furthermore, Long Chen didn't just sense Imputa's aura. He also sensed another terrifying existence. After advancing to the Divine Lord Realm, his senses were even sharper. He wasn't afraid at all. The other side was using the devil world, and the devil sees life forms as bait. However, Bai Shishi and the others were consuming the bait without getting hooked. All that was left was to see just how much bait the other side was willing to toss out. This response from Long Chen startled Bai Shishi's mother and the others. Long Chen had almost lost his life due to Imputa's scheming. Now that he raised that topic, it was clear who was on the other side. Imputa had personally come. Even Bai Zhantang couldn't believe that. Imputa wasn't in this heaven. If he were to come across heavens, he would have to pay a huge price. That didn't seem too likely. However, Long Chen wouldn't make this up. Everyone looked at each other in shock and confusion. They couldn't help tensing up. They didn't pursue this topic any further. Bai Leshen had already told them to listen to Long Chen. It would only cause irritation if they needlessly asked questions, and there would even be a slight flavor of wanting to take over. In one day, Long Chen gained a large pile of devil crystals and devil cores. The others were fighting the entire time, training themselves. As a result, their realms gradually stabilized, and they came to control their new power. The second day also ended with huge gains. Other than by Shishi, everyone was taking turns to rest. Of the over 10,000 disciples, the majority had fully stabilized their realms. After five days, every disciple had finished stabilizing their realms. Now their attacks grew even sharper. At the same time, they began to consume Divine Lord pills, using this battle to cultivate. Even after ten days, nothing changed with the other side, so Long Chen also didn't make any changes. 
he just refined pills in his room occasionally while he kept an eye on the battle. Long Chen was delighted that during this time, Lei Linger had managed to fully absorb the energy from both tribulations. She was now entirely focused on nourishing the Violet Tower pills. The Violet Tower pills were actually too strong and possessed their own wills. Nourishing them required patience and steadiness. One careless slip and they would detonate. Furthermore, during this time, Huo Linger and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace started trying to refine the pills themselves. The only issue was that Huo Linger didn't have Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength, so Long Chen needed to split a portion of his spiritual strength to help. Despite that, Long Chen saved himself quite a bit of effort by not having to personally refine anything. In order to make sure that every Violet Tower pill's effect was maximized, Long Chen patiently waited for Lei Linger to expel all the impurities with thunder force. The stronger the pill, the more difficult it was to nourish them. But Long Chen was capable of waiting. Another ten days passed. The number of attackers had not diminished in the slightest. It seemed that the other side was really planning on dragging out this battle. Fuck what medicine are they taking? After waiting so long, there was still no reply from the other side. Bai Zhantang was getting vexed. Long Chen also felt that something was wrong. The other side was truly being patient, more than he had expected. It didn't make sense for them to simply be sending Long Chen money. However, the formation was still keeping an eye on everything. There was nothing odd. But the more he couldn't see anything odd, the more he felt that something was wrong. Is everything still fine at the main academy? asked Long Chen. Everything is normal, answered Heaven Master Yun Yang. Long Chen sank into thought. Suddenly, his heart thudded and his expression changed so drastically that everyone jumped. What is it? asked Bai Shishi's mother. I think I know their goal. Deputy Dean Yun Yang, I have a mission for you. Stealthily activate all the grand formations said Long Chen. All of them, Heaven Master Yun Yang jumped. If the grand formations were fully activated, it would burn a hundred times more immortal king crystals than usual. One day would cost hundreds of thousands of immortal king crystals. Thus, despite clearly hearing Long Chen's order, he still needed confirmation. Yes, activate them all. Furthermore, it must be done stealthily without anyone being the wiser. This relates to the survival of the academy, so you must be careful, said Long Chen. Seeing how serious Long Chen was, Heaven Master Yun Yang didn't dare to tarry any longer. He immediately left and personally supervised the activation. Heaven Master Yun Yang and Heaven Master Dong Ming were fully trusted by Long Chen. They were very dependable and meticulous. If Long Chen left anything to them, he could feel at ease about it. Even Bai Zhantang and the others tensed when they heard this. The survival of the academy was at stake. Such a thing rarely came out of Long Chen's mouth. That alone showed how serious this matter was. Just what happened? Bai Zhantang couldn't help asking. I'm not too sure either. Long Chen shook his head. You. Bai Zhantang almost coughed up blood. If he didn't know anything, why was he being so grave? I feel like they are intentionally letting us kill these devils. I almost fell for that damn fatty and cutest sinister scheme again, said Long Chen. Hearing that, Bai Zhantang and the others' expressions changed. It seemed that this matter really wasn't so simple. Everyone raised their guard. Not good. Our connection to the main academy has been lost. Heaven Master Dong Ming's expression suddenly changed. Everyone, come back. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air. Chapter 3460 Heaven Shaking Attack by Shishi and the others received the order and didn't hesitate. They all activated their tablets and were instantly brought back into the academy. Before anyone could understand what was happening, a pillar of divine light exploded in the distance. 
It was like a sun was attacking. The terrifying pressure shattered the surrounding mountains. At that moment, the wind and clouds changed color while heaven and earth shuddered. It was like the apocalypse had come. Everyone was horrified. This power was smashing directly toward the High Firmament Academy. Just then, the High Firmament Academy's grand formations rumbled and countless ripples appeared. After that, every building within the Academy began to shine brightly. As runes blazed with light, an outline of the entire Academy appeared on top of the barrier. The truth was that every building in the academy was its own independent grand formation. That was why when Long Chen said to activate all of them, Heaven Master Yun Yang couldn't believe his ears. That price was astonishing. However, Long Chen's sense of danger was truly sharp. Heaven Master Yun Yang had just activated all the formations when the attack came. Everyone stared in horror as a giant blood-colored sun smashed into the academy Navaloon Kam C M that damn fatty as expected. He was letting us kill the devils to gather their devil Kai. Then he would launch an attack to wipe us out. Fuck, good thing it was sensed early. Long Chen felt some cold sweat on his back. This star contained an enormous amount of devil Kai. It was a star made from an extreme compression of devil Kai. Boom. The star then struck the formation, and the immense power caused the world to shake. Even Long Chen was unable to stand steady in the face of that impact. His blood kai flipped inside of him, and his ears were ringing. He couldn't hear anything. As for the other disciples, they coughed up blood. The majority fainted, while the others were left with their heads buzzing. They temporarily lost most of their senses. Bai Zhanting and the others were also shaken and took a while to recover. They were shocked and infuriated. The power of that one attack was enough to annihilate all of them. Fortunately, while countless cracks and holes appeared in the grand formations, they still managed to hold on. Three million immortal king crystals. Heaven Master Yun Yang was aggrieved. Just to block this attack, Three million immortal king crystals were turned into nothing. That was the price of increasing the formations to their maximum power at once. However, these three million immortal king crystals were all worth it to block this attack. Seeing the riddled formation, Long Chen felt a burst of fear. They had almost been doomed just now. Just then, countless experts appeared from all sides. It wasn't just the deep sea fiend devils and the life forms from the devil world. The devil, I water lily races experts also showed up. This time, even the weakest of the devil world and devil seas life forms were half step world kings. These experts had clearly been waiting for this moment. The grand formations were riddled with holes. If they were to launch another powerful attack at this time, it would be all too easy to break the academy entirely. Although the formations were also rapidly repairing themselves, that would take a certain amount of time. The enemy wouldn't give them that chance. Kill. Long Chen roared and was the first to charge out. He was like a bolt of lightning charging at the distant devil, I water lily race. Although their experts were mostly in the immortal king realm, in terms of actual power, they were even more terrifying than the world kings. They definitely couldn't be allowed to approach the barrier. Otherwise, with their power, the formations would crumble. As soon as Long Chen charged out, some spiritual fluctuations locked onto him. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. These fluctuations belonged to that devil I water lily, whose seed pot he had taken. After that, overwhelming killing intent erupted and giant leaves covered the heavens. A giant lily appeared. As the lily's runes glowed, they transformed into a long-haired man with a five-colored sword, and he charged at Long Chen. He actually used his true body as his manifestation. Damnable human, you dared to ruin my path to advancing. I will tear your corpse into ten thousand pieces shouted that man furiously. At that time, 
he had made his preparations to advance to the world king realm but long chen cut off his seed pod severing his path to advancing he had tried to take back his seed pod but without it he was like a human that had lost his danchen his power plummeted and he couldn't even unleash a tenth of his power in the end he could only watch as long chen took it away he then returned to the undying world and condensed a new seed pod now that he was seeing long chen again he was raging with killing intent the manifestation behind the devil i water lily man raged the lily leaves flowers and seeds shone brightly and divine light flowed out and filled him after that the five-colored sword in his hand blazed with light as well metal wood water fire and earth all five elements twined together the power of his attack was comparable to an attack from a world king you're a life form from the undying world but instead of cultivating in the undying world you ran over to my immortal world occupying the land of my academy since you were willing to be used by others you definitely deserve to die i can't be bothered to waste words with you is the devil i water lily ray so amazing then today i'll show you that the human race is the king of the immortal world divine ring battle armor long chen's divine ring appeared his stars shining brightly after that golden dragon scales covered his body and a dragon cry rang out exuding a golden ripple with him in the center the devil i water lily man was actually sent back staggering by that ripple died long chen's roar was like spring thunder his blood-red saber came out of its sheath absorbing all the murderous aura of the world without leaving a drop it then slashed mercilessly at the devil i water lily man Boop. as a result five colored light exploded that man from the devil i water lily race was blasted to bits along with his sword when long chen let out a roar his saber also roared overflowing battle intent then came raging out all of you have committed crimes against my academy you can all die miserable deaths now long chen's long hair flailed in the air like an unstoppable god of war he charged at the devil eye water lily races experts his one hundred eight thousand stars unleashed all their power long chen didn't hold back and started off at full power due to it these devil eye water lily experts collapsed not one capable of stopping him who oh. at this moment a half-step world king expert of the devil eye water lily race appeared his five-colored divine sword was finally capable of stopping long chen however he had just stopped long chen's saber when a lotus mark appeared on long chen's left hand he then slammed it into his enemy's head and the latter exploded the half-step world king's power was truly terrifying but he was able to attack as fast as long chen long chen didn't tarry he killed as many as he could to buy time for the grand formations to repair themselves Boom. suddenly a heaven-shaking explosion erupted at the same time he heard bai Zhan tang's furious roar jiao yuo this time only one of us will live to see tomorrow's sun 